We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> that was a bit of a delay start. <laughs> we are back today with uh, the Shoe Dog Podcast, episode four. Four. Coming straight to your door. <laughs> how was you, how was, how was you, how was you today? You good? I'm, I'm good, bro. How about you, man? Well, I, I'm I'm good and I'm excited because we've got a hell of an episode today. I'm not even joking on that one. We, it is is deep diving, deep diving into a lot of chaos, <laughs> a lot of chaos. Yeah, man, it's, it's been a lot going on, and, and it's it's not surprising how frequently the news comes because I'm used to it now. But it trips <laughs> me out. It's like, bro, it, we get we we'll get three days out, and I'm like, what are we gonna talk about? And as soon as I opened up Google, it's all right there. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about <laughs> we're, 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 we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about a lot of things, bro. But like, me, thing is, some some of the stuff we're gonna talk about today is not news related at, at all because it's it's something that um, we we're all aware of. We all know what happens. But then there's so much unfairness to this uh, to a point where, okay, so we see this happening, and we see we see this happening from one angle. And we see this happening from another angle. So why is it not fair and consistent from all angles? See what I'm saying? So so we'll we'll discuss that. At this point, I feel like it's just it's the it's the way of the world um, showing itself in the sneaker culture. Also, like the the way the way unfairness unfairness is unbiased. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, exactly, exactly. exactly. There's, there's so much stuff that's not fair in the world already just for people, different sets, different uh, ethnicities, different religions. And, and depending on where you live, unfairness is always going to show itself. So in the sneaker community, unfairness got to be fair. And let's just say this, at the end of this show, we'll realize power is money, money is, money is power. And you realize that um, when you have the backing and the money, you can pretty much do whatever you want because you are untouchable. And um, uh, let, we'll get to that at the end of the show. We'll get that, yeah, to, yeah, get yeah. to that at the end of the show because that's going to be intri- That's going to probably take up most of the back end of this podcast. But let's have a talk about what's been happening this week with you, bro. Well, we had Cam Dolph on last week. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's influences rubbing on. Look at those. <laughs> Look at those. Those are those are the Jordan 5 P51, bros. Those camo versions of those um, P51s. And if anybody doesn't know, and if you want to know more about the Jordan 5, go look it up. Because that P51 is the reason why it's called P51. And it's the reason why that Jordan 5 looks like the Mustang P51. Go and check out Tinker's documentary. Go and check out the development of that shoe. Because that Jordan 5, is magnificent and that yeah that sneaker bro boy it's so nice <laughs> but, it's so nice it, we look we're looking at the left shoe right we're looking yeah, at the yeah. left shoe and this shoe used to be worse than this shoe who look at damn it. look at the the foolishness going on here like this so, this so, is <laughs> this is bad bro this is bad so, so it, on, on audio description, if anybody's hearing this, um, we are going to start loading these up onto onto Apple and Spotify. But if anybody's, oh, bro, that's a massive day and light day and light difference. But if anybody's listening to this, what what we've done is um, Q's picked up the P fifty ones, which were VNDS. I would say you said into yesterday's live they were four out of five, um, no, four out of ten. So four basically, ten. you clean them up, wash them up. Use the suede Nubuck eraser rubber brush, and you brought them, brought the left hand side back to life, and the right hand side, the right hand side is still dirty. And mind you, you showed me the right left hand side, which was way dirtier than the right hand side. Yeah, and it, it is a total difference. Like you can even see the shine come back off that left sneaker because it looks brand spanking new. So, guys, if you if you do, like like I keep saying, we are on Instagram. We do lives on Instagram about its customs. So go and check that out. Q joined us yesterday. Me and Cam were doing that live yesterday, and Q, you pulled out those P fifty ones, and they look absolutely gorgeous. I'm saying, like, you brought them back to life. So you gave a rating of seven out of ten from from going a four out of ten. And let's let's how much did you get them for, bro? Sixty dollar. 
Sixty, and, sixty dollars. Well, the sixty, the sixty dollars that I paid for the shoe was a pretty appropriate price. I feel like I could have even went down. Uh, you based on the condition, yeah. I should have, I should have tried to low ball and maybe haggle a little bit, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, um, this is my first real project shoe, like that I have to actually put some real time and sweat equity into. So I'm not disappointed about it. They, they came out pretty. The only downfall, I mean, well, two, I get a one and a half downfalls. I, they, I, they didn't come with the original box, which is okay. I can get a box. Yeah. I, I might, I probably got boxes around here empty. That's fine. But they did not come with the lace lock. That's the most disappointing part of uh, it, because the Jordan Five to me is only ninety percent complete without the lace lock, man. But 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 for sixty dollars for the, so sixty dollars you'll probably like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could I could find a lace lock. Um, yeah, no problem. So so. But by the way, talk talk to Cam. Talk to Cam's got loads of lace locks. Cammy's got loads of lace locks, so he might Actually, be able to give you one or Cam, two. Cam just sent me a pair of lace locks for my wife's top three fives that uh, we reclaimed from my niece yeah. when her foot grew. Yeah, <laughs> and my niece, <laughs> my niece lost the lace lock, and Cam was um, gracious enough to send us a pair for my wife's top three Jordan five. So. Um, um, I know, I know, Cam. I'm not trying to ask too much of Cam. Cause I know he got a lot going on too. He got family. He got work. He yeah, yeah, got yeah. His, his own collection that he got to tend to. So I'm not gonna be on his head about lace locks. I can find a pair myself. But yeah, I'm, I'm just well. I'm just trying to work out what the P51 what lace locks look like. They're green. Oh, so they're, they're like this camo green, yeah? They're 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 the color green that's on the midsole here. They are green. Okay, but. I'm, so far, I've been having a kind of a difficult time um, finding the green lace lock. So I might go with red, depending on how long I have to search. By the time I finish cleaning that right shoe, I'm going to be ready for my lace locks. So what? What? Why don't, don't you get a lace lock that um, is specially? I know, I know it's, it's a you're looking for the original lace lock, but I, I can. I'm pretty sure Nike Town here in the UK have got lace locks. Um, and they've got some specially designed lace locks. So have you thought about getting a really unique lace lock that doesn't kind of, that doesn't literally, isn't the original, but it's so unique and special that it's different to what, what you're going to put on the sneaker. So you make it your own? Uh, I, I was I was thinking of going red, to be honest with you. Um, there are, I've seen custom lace locks. Uh, they got metallic lace locks. They got lace locks with graphics on them and stuff like that. But I'm, um, I want to try to stay as traditional as possible on okay. that. So I'll probably go with red if I can't find that olive green. But yep, yep, yep. you picked up something this week as well. <laughs> and you also you also had something special on feet. So uh, the, only, the only way the only way to the only way to show you this is um I, I i've been listening to your advice bro and i'm actually been i'm taking more fit pits because basically i think that's the way that we should be going yes yes, yes. <laughs> what's with that yes yes, yes. <laughs> fit pit action that's what i want i want the fit pit smoke all i mean bring me a whole cloud of fit pit smoke Okay, cool. That that is is my is, that is the Fitbit, bro. And as you can see, as you can see, uh, I to be honest, it's, it's low res. Uh, it's a, it was a low res picture, but um, I still had to post it because this this is near uh, this this there's this um if you if you're hearing this, this is near um, Little Venice, where locally to me, um, and this is there's a monument there of a standing man looking at another standing man. So I was, I was just sat, stood next to it and done the peace sign, but I've got black and white varsity jacket and a uh, white sweater underneath with some black cargoes. And right at the bottom is the sneakers is the Jordan five K 54 friends and family custom, which are these bro. I'm going to unshare and I'm going to show you this this is the sneaker we're talking about bang <laughs> yo 
the gloss on them, bro. That's <laughs> that's like that's like patent right there. That's like patent. How many how many that, coats? How many coats of high gloss you put on that? Five. Five coats a good law. Good law. <laughs> and, and we pulled it up to Cam's uh Tiffany Jordan ones that he customized. <laughs> And then they, they, this, that's the only reason why I actually kind of went in with that high gloss. But, bro, on feet, they look fire. I think, I'm I'm going to be honest, like the original K, K54, Jordan 5s, the white, all white versions, it reminds me too much of um, the 5H5s. So I'm like, I needed to do something to them. But I still got the originals. And it gives me the option to go 50-50, one white, one black. And I might be doing that soon so i'm i have to be done and with that varsity jacket as well because bro that varsity jacket is versatile for something for a switch up like that <laughs> bro <Bruh. Bruh. laughs> bro i'm gonna say is anybody anybody that's watching this anybody that's listening to this be experimental grow into your own style and just do it just do it like Nike tells you to do just do it and, we, and to be honest uh, even though, even though we all love to hate Nike, even though we all like kind of, <laughs> mm, yeah, you, you bastards and stuff like that. But they, they've, they've got a breast slow, slogan to that. Just do it, Nike. Come on, bro. You can't, you can't be. It just gives everybody that enthusiasm to just go and do it. Just do it. Just yeah, do your stuff. Yeah. There, there really is a love hate relationship with Nike. <laughs> but you gotta but, pull out, pull out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Does anybody know the code thirty eighty four ninety seven stash four two five? Does anybody know that code? <laughs> we sneaker nerds, but we ain't we ain't that deep, bro. Come on. Man. All right. Does anybody know the code? Midnight navy metallic gold gold <laughs> white marine. So basically, it is not the it's it's a Jordan four box. You could actually mistake this for a Jordan five box as well. A Jordan yeah. four box. And it's not the Marina ones because the Marina ones uh, are still a fire sneaker. But this week, and on on Cam Candoff's advice and Cam's advice, bro, always go back in time, like back to the future, and pick up the yeah. sneakers you want because, bro, sometimes the sneakers you want are better than the sneakers they released today. So look at yes, this, bro. Bang. Jordan Four. Dump from just, above, bro, bro. The Jordan on the back is fire. The materials on this is fire, and you know what the thing, the the amazing thing about this sneaker is <laughs> that 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 yellow gold paneling Man. on that end of that lever, bro, 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 bro. Yeah, I'm, and you know what? I'm not no capping, bro. I I can pull out an Excel sheet from 2018. Uh, when I was at, when I actually really really started, well, uh, two years prior to that, I was picking up. Then I was like, I'm picking up, I'm picking up sneakers, but I want to pick up sneakers that I want to collect and want to wear. Um, and I produced a list in 2018, and that list has 53 sneakers on it. Right? Mm. And on the on that list includes the Chicago's, includes the Breads, includes all of the all the all the ones you we associate with. But then it included Lightning Fours, Thunder Fours. Dunk from above, bro. I finally managed to tick this off that list. Yo. And if you're you're not a sneakerhead, if you haven't got a grail list, and this was in my grail, bro. The pictures with this, the pictures I've seen with these on, oh my god, bro! Like these are fire. And the, the fire, leather, bro. the leather on those looks look pure buttercup. Buttercup. <laughs> look, 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 bro. If you if you're looking at this, but that 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 material is soft as hell, bro. That's thick leather too. I can tell just from looking at it. Yeah, it's that's, thick. That's, it's a, that's some good, Yeah, that's some good wear on, so, on so those. Don't, so don't give us no crimson fours. Don't give us no AKA red thunders. AKA not red thunders. AKA oh my god, trash bin shit. Give us some. <laughs> give us <laughs> some bitch. of that thick leather, soft leather. That. Oh, Lever, <laughs> and we'll be happy. We'll be happy. Yes. We'll be happy because that that sneaker right there, that Jordan Four dunk from above, that is beautiful. 
That is yes. absolutely gorgeous. And thank you, Crepsaholic Ash, bro. You gave me the dub up and he gave it for a really good price as well. And, and to be honest, that, that sneaker is absolutely immaculate quality. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I paid uh, friends and family uh, prices for that sneaker because Ash is family. And um, yeah, bro, I'm happy. I'm just happy. I'm a happy boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you, bro. Like that's a, that's a great pair to have in the collection. Uh, that whole dunk from above pack, actually, uh, the ones, the the five lows and the fours are all good sneakers. So go back, uh, check it one, out if you don't know that one. That one looks quite nice as well. That yeah, the one ones, the nice. ones are they they different. They got like a they got like a, a early two thousands kind of vibe going on with them. Let me just so pull up on the screen if, if, if nobody knows uh, the Jordan Jordan Five Dunk from Above Pack. Jordan Jordan Dunk from Above Pack. Hold on. Should yeah, I have it, open? It takes it takes me back to a time where um, Nike and Jordan were real experimental. Um, this was around the time where you could actually do customs on um, certain Jordan silhouettes on Nike ID. Before it was uh, Nike by you, which we know it by now. But we all say people that know it from back in the day, we call it Nike ID. And at that time, I wasn't in um, such a fortunate place, the place that I'm that I'm in now. So I would go on Nike ID and come up with all these dope designs, man, and didn't have the capital to pull it off because it was a bill to pay or I needed groceries in the refrigerator or I was supporting other uh, habits, I'll just say that didn't involve sneakers at the time. Look at so, that. So, so, look at the that. Fives, bro. The fives, the, you know, I love that. I mean, we love fives. Even lows. I love fives, uh, bro. I, I I draw the limit out a lot of five lows, but those five lows are quite nice. The, if they had that high color as well, bro, that's an instant cop. That 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 midnight navy on that midsole, that midnight navy on that knitting, and that midnight navy on that tongue with that white all over, bro. Yeah. That's that's. Fire. Even the Jordan One, it's got that glistening gold tick that ru it runs all the way through. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's, that it's iridescent, like iridescent gold. It's like green, it. it's gold, it's orange, it's blue, is is everything. Yeah, <laughs> and the cuts, Wait. it's it's got like that zoom comfort cut to it. When's the last time Jordan Brand released a really good pack? Ooh, that's a good question. Like, I, uh, I, I, the no. new, I'm not going to count the New Beginnings pack. Like, the New Beginnings pack, I, even though I like it with the Airship and the Jordan 1, um, but, that, but that New Beginnings pack, for me, it's not really a good release because, like, they released it in Chicago and they kept it, and then they kept it moving. And you're yeah. like, well, I really wanted that. Uh, I really wanted that. Well, I think, I think the, the, the question is, or the questions are, are we talking about, just Jordan brand alone, or are we talking about collabs? Because if we're talking collabs, nah, we nah, got nah, the, just Union, the Union Fours. Uh, that's a pack. Shout out Scott Simpson, Pac Man. Pac Man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the last, and even with the Fearless Pack, because there was the Blue to the Great, there was, you know, there, there were what, four collabs? Three, three or four collabs in that Fearless Pack. So, Maybe we shouldn't count that one either. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking when they released the Black Metallics and the Raging Bulls. I'm yeah. really, the, 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 the Defining Moments pack. Oh, like when was the last? I can't remember when the last time they released a really good pack. Um, I, 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 um, did they release a Kobe pack as well with the eights and the threes? I don't. I don't think that released to the public. Oh, see, 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 I'm not sure. That, I'm not sure, but it, I don't think it released to the public. That that Kobe pack. One day in my life, I need that Kobe pack. That I, I, I hope I get into a position where I'm I, able to afford it. But like they, Jordan Brand, if they know what's right, if they know what like to to pay tribute to to Kobe, they need to release that pack for everybody to purchase. Because anybody that's a Kobe fan, and I love that. I, I I'm a, I'm a Kobe fan, and I, I and I love. I love the eights and the threes, and that that colorway on on the eights and the threes on the Kobe pack is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Bro. Definitely, um, we know we know eights are slipped on though, so it, they might oh, bring I, back the threes. I can't wait. Girls. I can't wait. I, I look, bro. Everybody that's an eight fan, you are going to be in for a delight this year and next year. Anybody that's not an eight fan, 
good for you guys because we're going to pick up all the eights. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's 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 go into the news, man, because this this story, um, this story is horrible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, no what? Why? Okay. Okay. Anybody listening to this? We, the reason why we, we, the reason why we're doing it is because we've got on screen Brampton Foot Locker employee allegedly ejaculates into new shoes to put them back into boxes. So yes, guys. Yes. And if if you follow me on if you follow me on Instagram, my new story was Foot Locker. Uh, Jizz, uh, holy jizz in my pants, Foot Locker. I don't want extra mayo with those sneakers. Bro. <laughs> Yo, they, this guy, he tried to turn your beaters, or he tried to turn your heaters into skeeters. That's what he's doing. <laughs> and, oh, bro, and something, and shout out to Del for this one. Del, Del and me were uh, hanging yesterday, and we, we, had a couple of, we had a couple of drinks, and um, we were talking about this uh, situation. <laughs> and you know when you have a couple of drinks and you talk about a situation? Um, we, it, Del came up with a really good one for this. It was called, it's, the, it's Foot Locker's new policy called the Shipped and Shagged. <laughs> or the Shagged and Shipped. <laughs> one of the two. It's the Shagged and Shipped. <laughs> <laughs> you shag it and skip it. Del, that was a good one. I told you I was gonna shout you out, but that that is that was a good good fucking thing, bro. Like the, the shag, like, hold on. Who the hell does that? Oh, the double dipper. The double, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> there, bro, bro. There is also there was also a video. There's also a video of him doing it. These, they, allegedly, right. there was a video of that situation. Yo, I've can, not seen it. I've you seen can find clips. it. You can find I'm not going to find it. Bro. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see no, no. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that double dip, bro. <laughs> listen, the crazy part is when you told me about because I, I heard it first from you when we were discussing <laughs> topics for the show, and <laughs> I had never heard of it. And I, I said, okay, I know it's going to pop up. So I'm not gonna look for it. I I yeah, yeah. I honestly I I feel like I sh I maybe went a little backwards with that story because I waited for it to show itself because I knew something this crazy was not gonna miss me with the way my Instagram feed is set up, bro, and the way my Google's um Google News and Twitter and bro and I saw the video. I'm like, what in the <laughs> I, I just I just had to keep scrolling. I, when I saw it, I immediately knew what it was. And plus there was a caption to the video. And I said, man, I can't even, I can't subject myself to this type of punishment, bro. I hate seeing people that got that, that wear beaters or people that wear sawed after pairs as beaters. Ain't no way in the hell I'm finna sit there and watch this man skeet in some shoes, bro. No. No, I don't care what they is. I don't care if they was vans. I don't care if they was tier tier three uh, Nikes or Reeboks or whatever the case is, bro. These are brand new shoes. At the end of the day, whether it's something that we would put on foot or not, people want these shoes. You, like, there's you, no you there's no better feeling than putting on a brand new pair and to find out that this dude been doing what with my shoe before I bought it. Come on, man, bro, bro, bro. L -l -l listen, listen, like. Those must be comfortable shoes. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I wish no. I had shoes like that. <laughs> That's what we no. wanted for, actually, bro. Uh, we, oh, uh, somebody wants shoes like that. Whatever you do with your shoes in the privacy of your own home is for you and you alone and whoever you want to share. Bro, I don't... Come on, man. Do, 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 do you feel... Do you feel we could get done for sexual assault? Because especially if he's done that and sold it to a female female sneakerhead, uh, like that's that's almost like sexual assault, bro. Literally, let's just, let's just be real, bro. That your your any cons any any semen contact with the opposite sex 
is, or even with the same sex, bro, is still regarded as sexual assault, bro. I can't, I can't disagree with you, bro. At the very least, is it, like that's chemical warfare, bro. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not right, bro. It's not right, bro. Like it's cold, <laughs> yo, yo. We dealing, we dealing with the Rona out here. Like, he put he putting all kind of Omarion in my inside my shoes, bro. You gonna give me Omarion on the feet, bro? So so like, so on, is that man. is that is that gonna stop you sniffing your sneakers, bro? Yo. <laughs> That's not extra glue you're sniffing, bro. Yeah. And listen, man. Let's 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 go. Let's take it to a different place, okay? Because anybody that's grown that 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 participates in the monkey dance, all right. Y'all know, y'all know what happens at the end. So it ain't gonna be too long before that stuff dry up. And now you uh, you wouldn't even know it. Bruh. You wouldn't even know it. Like it don't, as far as I know, ain't no smell to it. You know what I'm saying? So you sniffing your sneakers and you don't know you you sniffing jizz powder in there. Yeah, oh, come on, bro. Bro. Oh, no. D- uh, okay, cool. Do you feel this Brampton employee was hired by a night quality chick? And he's left <laughs> <laughs> he's left his stains on those crimson floors, bro. <laughs> those ain't glue stains you're looking at, bro. <laughs> those ain't glue stains. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> hey man, you win, bro. You win, bro. <laughs> a competition, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, do, do, do you think? Do you think you it, like, bro? That, that's that's like horrible. Like, are you gonna pick up Jordan and Jordans now, knowing the fact that your college check is coming with extra oh, loose things, and extra listen. mayo? <laughs> the, the double dip, <laughs> the shagging ship. <laughs> hey, look, we know. Well, look, we know. We know this is a copycat society, right? So, how many Ooh. other shoe store employees are gonna go do something stupid like this because they see your old boy do it, man? Like, come bro. on, bro. Let, 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 let's let, let, look, bro. That, that's some sort of customization. That's personal customization. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm going to take this off the screen, man. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We all know that. that we, did you, you heard a couple of months ago, or oh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, that female um, t- t- TikToker or, or something like that that was selling her farts from a jar and she ended up in hospital. Bro, bro. This could be a new business for some customizers out here. <laughs> <laughs> if you like that fetish, bro. And you know what? There's, there's an audience for everything. I thought about, <laughs> I, I did think about for a second, like, what kind of dude is this? Because the <laughs> average dude ain't got that much in him to be like, so is he doing one or two pairs a day? Like, <laughs> is, he, is, is he taking pills? Like, what's going on? Is he drinking milk, extra milk? Like, what's going on, I, I th- man? I, I legitimately think he went to the sperm bank and ended up in the Foot Locker by accident. <laughs> you know what? I'm done talking about this. <laughs> we can't keep talking about this. <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. That, that, that's a new meaning to... <laughs> that's a new meaning to... <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Yo, he yeet. This man, this man full blown yeeting all of the inside of your shoe, bro. Yeeting and skeeting. <laughs> oh, nah. bro. Bro, like, that, 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 all jokes aside, that's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. And I, I, I literally said that I went through this, the, my sneaker news with my girlfriend. And that she let let me let me read what I said in my sneaker news because it's quite fast. It is really fast when I do it. Um, and um, I, it, sometimes you miss the concepts, or some people miss the concepts. But it was holy jizz in my pants, Foot Locker. I didn't order extra mayo with my sneakers. That's one way to get fired as, as an excitable Foot Locker employee who calls himself ejaculating into sneakers. That's not extra glue you're sniffing, bro. Like <laughs> legitimately, <laughs> legitimately. I read that to her and she was like, that's horrible. That's putting visuals into my mind that I don't yes. want. <laughs> yes. No. But there is an actual visual to it. 
That's not, let's be honest as well. Let's be honest as well. You know when you get... We, I, I'm really hesitant when I get mayo from like a fast food restaurant, right? Because that open mayo, I don't touch. I got mayo. If I need mayonnaise, I got mayonnaise at home. And when that mayonnaise is extra runny, you ain't touching that shit, bro. You ain't touching that shit. Because <laughs> oh, you know, man. you don't know who's double dipping or whipping or slipping. You know what? <laughs> Ignore that. Allow that. Dump that in the bin. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Do bro. not even go near it. That is some radioactive jizz. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Like, no, no, man. That's... Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Ooh, sorry, sorry. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's, 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 let's get off this subject because we're horrible gonna be in story, giggles man. for the whole the rest of the show. Horrible story, that, man. That was a horrible story. Like, um if you work in Foot Locker and if you work in any of these foot sites, please respect the sneakers and do not jizz in them, do not spit in them, and do not put any bodily fluids in that sneaker. So please, please just put them in the box, leave them alone, and sell them to the customers. You get your commission, man. <laughs> just, just be good with your commission, man. Yeah. And if you're good, they might give you a tip. <laughs> don't give them, don't give that sneaker your tip. <laughs> Bruh. Stop, man. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I can't. It's too funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, the, on the serious, on the serious side, let, let's just hope. Let's just hope, right? Let's just just hope that he gets what's coming to him, right? Not literally. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just hope he gets. What the puns never stop. The puns never stop. And this is no. why the sneaker news is always the sneaker news, bro. He's gonna get. He's gonna give. He gonna give. He giving customers what's coming to him. That's what that is. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Please come again. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, my God, We're having man. too much fun, bro. We're having too much fun on this subject. Oh, my God. That's the next Seriously, topic, bro. man. That's the next topic, bro. Please, so, bro. so, so, let, let's talk about some... fake news. Let's, let's talk about some fake news. Um, so, quickly, touching on, touching on the whole Kanye mania this week, what's your opinion on that? Um... <sighs> I don't like it. I don't, don't like, like it. it. I don't. I don't like. Um, it's a hype train, bro. Yeah. yeah. And and um, we're boarding. We're boarding the hype train to where? Like we haven't seen a sample. Like that. I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe that Kanye. Uh, that that Yeezy Nike Yeezy Jordan Six Bottom. Like I'm. That's that's just. That's clickbait for me. Like I'm not believing that. Yeah, okay, maybe the sample is this. Maybe somebody um I, th- I put think it that a custom. I think that sample is a custom rather than an actual right. uh, sneaker that they've actually put together. For from, exactly. from looking at it, um I think shout out to Scott. We, we, to be honest, we need to get Scott on the show one day, but but shout out to Scott, he actually looked she actually sold that to me on um, when I picked up my marina once. Um and he flinged a picture in, into our group as well. So he yeah. was on that he was on that because I, mean, I think he's on that way before anybody else has shown it. Um, and he basically said, "Oh, look at this! It's the, this is the Yeezy with the, the Jordan Six sole to it." Um, and I think I think the the guy's page that actually sh- uh, he grabbed it from is he's, he's actually got samples and custom, so that could be a custom sneaker. Yeah. Um, but so, that, that, um, if you if you haven't looked at it, I'm gonna quickly pull up the the um, the, sa- the sample the Yeezy Jordan Six sample. But it, it's it's all black. It looks to me, it looks like a a like Batman a prop sneaker. Shoe. Yeah, it looks like uh, a prop, yeah, a prop, a prop shoe yeah. for for a Batman shoe or something like that. Because we know that uh, in the past, the 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 actors that played Batman, I can't remember exactly which Michael Batman Keaton. movie Michael it was. Keaton. So it was the the, the the uh, the '80s Batman. It was 80, 87, 88, something like eighty nine maybe. Um, yeah. But that that Tim Burton, uh, Michael Keaton Batman that featured Jack Nicholas, um, and Kim Basinger back in the day. He wore modified Jordan Six um, sneakers f- with the Batman uniform in certain scenes where comfort was more important than 
the full look. And I have actually, that's one of my favorite movies. Uh, I used to watch that movie so much when I was a kid. And I never paid much attention to his footwear outside of the scenes where mm -hmm. they actually wanted you to see the back boot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure in some of them action scenes, it was probably the stunt man that was wearing it. In some of those those action scenes, the next time I see that movie, I'm going to actually try to slow it down or maybe pause it in certain uh, situations to, to see if I could actually see that Jordan 6 Batman shoe. They, they should release that. They should release that. That, that, that was, is a very good memorabilia shoe, to be honest. I was just about to say, they should do that. They should. But I, I don't want it. If they do that, I wouldn't want it. Um, I, I wouldn't just want an all black Jordan 6, you know, a black cat Jordan 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that is I want, a black cat. I would want some some yellow in there, Some some something that let us know this is paying homage to um, – the, the the stunt guys or the actors in that Batman movie using the Jordan Six for Batman like that's that's kind of epic um, when you think about it when you really wrap your mind around the fact that Batman wore Jordan Six <laughs> like yeah, that, that, I, that, that, I, think, I think some of the artists some of the some of the artists for the Batman um, the current Batman stuff should probably just just put him in a six one time. Like we we love Jordan Sixes. That was the Jordan's first championship shoe. Did you like? Do you not? Do you like the Pony Sixes, or do you prefer the Black Cats? I would probably. You mean the uh, the social status? Yeah, Jordan yeah, yeah. The, the one that the one that really set hard. But it was I. I kind of still digged it. Uh, it's okay. I'm I'm not mad at it. Um, obviously, I'm a I am a fan of uh, social status. Um, being that we have a social status store here in Atlanta, I, I do like the stuff that they do, but I like that shoe, but it's not for me. I can say that. I would I would I would prefer just an all blacked out new book yeah, or yeah, yeah. leather versus the pony hair. I do got a couple pairs in my collection that got pony hair on them, but it's not the full I got the the undefeated dunks got pony hair on the swoosh and I got okay. the the Vapor Max uh, Evo Collector's Closet. They got a little pony hair on them. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not putting too much into what's going on with uh, Khaled and Kanye because it's it's a conversation. They, they're trying to start a conversation. And in my opinion, if you put Kanye in front of michael jordan that, that that's that's the that's the sneaker we're talking about yeah. it's it's um if you're if you're if you're um, watching the youtube you'll be able to see the representation but if you're not go to nice kicks um and he's got a picture of the sample sneaker but it's got a jordan six sole and a yeezy <clears throat> is it a yeezy one upper or a yeezy two can't remember the i can't i don't know the difference between the two i think that's it's got easy, a, it's like, yeah, yeah it's got like a yeezy one easy on the one, upper. One, yeah yeah so and and that that's the sample, and you can see there, there's uh, loads of degradation to the, the actual strap around that easy one. Uh, that there, you can see that there is it's, it's quite an old old sample, so it's been there for years. Um, uh, and you can see like it is definitely a sample zoom here, because zoom here take on it from from things. But yeah, just just in general, like it it's it's like. It's interesting. I I, put, I purely like the what the, the, I mentioned it a couple of times. I'm not going to keep mentioning it again. But I I I'm always in the thought process that that Kanye um, is trying to do something with as a collaboration with Adidas and Nike because I think he's crazy enough to do it. Um, and if he if he ever did it, he should he should do it with the 350s and the Yeezy one and not the Yeezy two, um, and put it into a a a, a pack. like box or a pack, it, like, and that would be like the ultimate collaboration pack, and it will it will destroy every other collaboration ever that, that ever existed before then because it is a cross brand collaboration which is massive in terms of histrionics of of the situation between Adidas and Nike, but also on top and to be honest that that the reason why I say it's going to be the best pack ever. Is just because of of the situation of, of the disagreements with Adidas and Nike, um, but, uh, but others will disagree because there are beautiful, amazing, amazing packs out there in terms of uh, what Jordan <coughs> produced. But this whole situation with DJ Khaled and Kanye and what Kanye is doing 
Um, I think that's all to do with the music base. I think that's all to do with promoting the music. Do you right. can I, in, like when you when you when you're a when you're a music fan like we are, bro? You know, there's either two situations that's happening when your album's coming out. You're going to beef with somebody to amp up the hype that your music is coming out, and we see it countless years. Or you're going to do a collaboration. So let's t- let's take let's take the uh, Kendrick Lamar situation. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Kendrick. Um, when his albums were coming out, he was going to beef with um, with Drake, and he was going to beef with Big Sean, and then everybody. And when if they do a J Cole a Kendrick a collaboration, which I hope one they did do, that is only going to be based on them collabing together, and everybody's going to be hyped for that. So there's always going to be a situation when the album's coming out, or when you're working with somebody and you want to hype up the album and you want to hype up your music. You are going to do some funky things like, i.e., DJ Khaled and, and Kanye West, what they're doing at the moment, or you're going to start beefing with somebody for or a fake beef or a real beef that you actually have like verbals on on records that um, are subliminal hits, and then all of a sudden you are going to go in, in, in with a beef with them. So and it kind of amps up the hype. Otherwise, in the low periods, you don't let's just you don't hear anything from Kendrick and Drake at the moment. You don't hear anything from Big Sean and Drake. You don't hear any sneak this in. You don't hear any shots and all of that stuff. But when the albums are due, that's when all that all that chaos comes out again. And right. that that's 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 all that's all that's all based on um on promoting your album and bringing hype to the album. And it's a strategic plan, and everything's based on strategy. Don't get it wrong. Everything's always based on strategy. So this whole situation with Drake. And uh, no, the whole situation with DJ Khaled and Kanye, it's all it's all to do with um, their music. And let, let's let's be let's be uh, honest right here. <clears throat> Kanye is crazy. G- um, some people call him a genius. Some people say he's thrown off. Either way, it's crazy. Genius is crazy. Let's let's not be mistaken. Yeah, about there's, that. there's a, fi- there's a um, fine line between genius and crazy. There's always, right. always a fine line between genius and crazy. And also, Michael Jordan is crazy, ego maniacal, crazy. Like we know, Jordan loves himself more than he loves anyone else. All right. Then you throw into the mix Marcus. We ain't got to talk <laughs> about Marcus. We all we all got a bad taste in our mouth from the last oh, thing Marcus was attached to, right? Bro, so bro. you put back you door. put crazy back door. You put crazy Back and crazy up. in front of each other. <laughs> if 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 Kanye and Michael Jordan manage to have a conversation without one of them walking away from the table, and they actually come up with a viable concept that they both can agree on, business wise and aesthetically, as far as a product to release as a collaboration, we'll never see it. Because Marcus is going to be in the background like this. Uh, no, I, and, and th- th- I think I think um, I think DJ Khaled and um, and Kanye kind of played Marcus in this situation because Marcus Jordan got involved somehow in some way about ha- amping that whole um, situation up, and he I think he got caught in the limelight slightly. Because he was like, yay, Kanye, yay, DJ Khaled. And um, he kind of got caught out. I think he, he's gone quiet a bit now, but he's gone caught. I think he personally got caught out. To your point about strategy, I think Marcus sees this as a way for him to brush some of that dirt off of his name from the trophy room situation, being attached with something like this. But for me, because he's now attached and he accepted the attachment to the hype, this hype train. If mm-hmm. we get nothing from it, I believe that pushes a little bit more dirt on his name. Because, like I said before, Kanye and Jordan, Nike and Adidas, that's a hard mesh. I mean, yeah, both they're both from Chicago, but they're, they're both the man. They both know that they're the man. I don't think either one of them is willing to concede anything. So if it's not a perfect marriage, if that conversation happens between Michael Jordan and Kanye West, can you imagine the? you could probably cut the tension in that room? Like Kanye, Kanye is not going to humble himself to Michael Jordan. I don't think, and ain't no way in the hell 
Mike is about to humble himself. To there, there's only way. real one loser at this situation. If 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 um if they don't come to the table themselves and and are happy with the situation, and that's Adidas, bro. Um, any any the any way you look at it, um, if Kanye does a collaboration and Adidas don't want it, he could leave. If if Kanye if if Mike Mike turn around and say we want to do this, let's do this, and if um Adidas don't want it, then I can see you know Kanye leaving. Uh, let's let's do let's be truth to the core. Kanye is a lover of Nike and Jordan. He always yeah. is. He always will be. He just he just wore court purples again. Yeah. Um, court purple Jordan ones. So like, and nobody's and not a lot of people seen that picture either. And I, I was able to kind of find it. I, I, I have to put a little caveat. Um, that, that picture, I think it's real. It could be fake. Um, I, I noticed that Kanye had that and deleted it. So in reality, if he's done that and he's put cool purples on and purposely showed the phone runners to one side, that subliminal, that's a subliminal saying, y'all moving. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, <laughs> He anyway, it's it's Kanye, it's Jordan, it's hype, it's it's instant hype. If it happens, it happens. We'll see. If not, I I think uh, it doesn't hurt Jordan, it doesn't hurt uh, Kanye, it doesn't hurt Khaled, but I think it may affect Marcus a bit. Maybe. Yeah, but as I said, there's only one loser to this situation, and if Adidas don't play their cards right, they could go massively backwards, losing. The Yeezy brand, technically, and not having Kanye, technically, could detriment be detrimental for their for the thing because all they're left with is Jerry and uh, Pharrell, and Jerry still's got to push some stuff out. Pharrell's Pharrell's still doing his thing. I I have so much respect for Pharrell. I can't say he fell off because some of his silhouettes and some of his NMDs are really good. Um, if you think about it from stuff. if you think about it from a height perspective. You can say fell off, but in general, no, he he's, he hasn't fell off. His stuff just isn't as hyped as it was before, right. for whatever reason. I was never, um, I can't say I wasn't a fan, but I'm just not an Adidas guy. So, but, um, but I think I think that that that's that's the same situation with how how Eminem's had two years expiration date. It came out and it went, and that two years expiration date surpass Pharrell because Pharrell was, a, 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 was part of that two years expiration date but I still think his designs are good I look, I like the Holly uh, Holly pack for the NMDs I like the original NMDs as well I think I'm I to be honest I do like NMDs I do if I have a chance to rock an NMD I will because I think it's comfortable but most of the time not, like you should see most of my collections or Jordans but I do have like I do have Yeezys and, and I have NMDs but I, I think the reason why the reason why Kanye has done so well with Adidas is because for one he comes up with new silhouettes and they I don't, I don't think for real ha, ha, he has come up come up with a couple of silhouettes outside the NMD range or the Ultra Boost range, um, but they've they, they've not been pushed as much. But ye, but the thing is, it's like where we this is a very 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 crude term where we're shit to fly we're fly we're flies to shit, bro. Uh, and if you if you think about it. Kanye is the ultimate dump, and we just literally just go Vroom. because it's everything. He's crazy. He's egotistical. He's the way he is. We just some people are just drawn to that, and they want that, and they want that news, and and he's always relevant, like in terms of what he does, and that's where the whole situation comes from. When you like, he surpassed that ultra boost and boost stage, and he's still relevant with his Yeezy brands because. He's Kanye, and it's and Pharrell's very like for me. Pharrell's really reserved. He's reserved. He does yeah. his thing. He plugs yeah. away. His music's great. His his NMD range is great. He just plugs away, and he, and he just keeps doing what he's doing in the background. Kanye yeah. like that. He's, Kanye, like you could, is an there's, introvert to an extrovert kind of experience there, bro. Right. There's there's no controversy really tied to Pharrell. There's um he's not in the public eye. He's not um saying off the wall things. He's not as uh, visible, even though it's, I mean, it's for real. Like, come on, he's he's a legendary figure in yeah. the music culture, just like Kanye, and also in the fashion world. You know, he's had ice cream, 
He's done stuff with Bape and um, bro. We, we 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 all we all was on that nerd wave when it came out, bro. We right. was on that, bro. That that nerd wave was like, bro. It was like that was the wave, bro. Yeah, that but, was that was predate Kanye. But with for real, it's it seems to be a lot more organic than it is with Kanye. Makes an event out of everything, even with the with the release of the basketball sneakers, the tanks, and all that stuff. Kanye makes an event but, of everything. Then that's this is why this is why I'm not saying Kanye is a big dump of shit. I'm just saying Kanye is a big dump of chaos, which yeah, we yeah. are attracted to, and yeah. that's is why I use the metaphor where where flies to shit because we love the chaos. We love talk. We're still talking about Kanye in 2022 when the Ultra Bruce fell off in 2017, 18. Hey man, it, it's it's. It's the it's the Kanye effect, man. Anytime he does anything, whether it's good or bad, people are gonna talk about it. It's gonna make news. Um, it's 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 easy, it's easy clickbait. All you gotta do is post Kanye this or that, and it's gonna get attention. You know, it, anything he does is getting attention. So the fact that he posted a jump man, and then we <laughs> see the crazy him him actually mimicking the jump. I don't even know if that's real. Like him doing the jump man with them stupid space boots on. Like that's ridiculous. <laughs> them boots are stupid. stupid. Uh, but, 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 oh no 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 no. Have you did you see Fat Joe wearing that that fit? The them other... boots <laughs> are stupid, bro. Stupid. I I'm lost. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I lost keep a quiet. little bit of respect for Fat Joe when I saw that picture. I'm sorry. I love I love <laughs> Fat Joe. I, I appreciate what he is uh, in the in the hip hop culture, but man, take them damn boots off. Take them off. But it's, fashion, it's, fa it's fashionable at the moment. So, and it's you know what? I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> and, and there are there are certain people there are certain people that um, I think pull it off quite well. I've seen I've seen a few, seen a few sneakerheads, uh, female sneakerheads. Hustlelena had a really good picture with them on, but I think they, they I think they're cute for certain people. Right? If you, if I think for a female sneakerhead, if you rock that and you rock it in the cold with 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 some bit, I think I think it goes well. You just a because man, with, just with a because man, you it's use, different. Just because you use the word cute. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Look, man. Let's 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 talk about um, sneaker terms. Um, sneaker terms. All right, before before we before we go on to that quickly, right? Just just this is like a two minute discussion. So those 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 uh, this weekend, the Jordan One Bubble Gums or Atmospheres came out, right? What what's your feeling on that sneaker? How do you feel about that release? What do you think about the history behind that sneaker? Uh, and why is it called why is it called the atmospheres and not the bubble gum? I, I listen. Why why is the 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 Oreo five the moonlight? We we used we got to we got to get used to at this point. I feel like we got to get used to. Whoever is, is is in control of marketing over at Jordan Brand, they just gonna come up with whatever they can put together. Like it, it seemed like somebody put that idea together in three hours. It was like, ooh, he He's chewed the bubble gum. He kissed the court. Like what? What the fuck? Yeah, does any of that have to do and, and, with a pink and blue shoe? I don't understand. And <clears> and <throat> like this, let's take two. Let's take two. Cro like I'm, I'm not, I'm not this in the sneaker. I think it's a very good, no, very good release. For, yeah, it's a dope shoe. I, I just don't, I, I don't like when people grasp onto um, little things just to make a story, just to make it relevant. Like I'll give you two comparisons. I give you very uh, two iconic comparisons. Right, the Jordan, the Jordan Twelve flu games. We know, we know, we know it to be the Jordan Twelve po food poisoning, but it's a, it's a iconic called a flu a food a flu games. So we know what happened. He was wrecked. Still came out. Still destroyed it on court. Out of breath. History, history, hi like a historic moment in time, and in 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 the event of that space. Right. We know exactly why that shoe is is relevant. We know exactly why that shoe means so much. Right. That shoe has so much history behind it. Then, in 2022, we're flipping a sneaker. 
with a bubblegum stain at the bottom, with like pinky like toe and back panels and calling it the atmosphere and it's based on him chewing his addiction to chewing bubblegum on court. Like where where has the why why have we seen this massive dec- I know we're running out of stories. I know I know Jordan Brand's running out of stories. I know Jordan Brand's running out of ideas. Um I know they're doing all this stuff to make the shoes relevant. But sometimes you just need to release the sneaker and just say, Here you go, guys, you might like this. Not not like yo, hey, a yo. Nice, a nice colorway is a nice colorway. Yeah, exactly. We like, don't we don't color- we don't need a story all the time. There's no there's no there's no story about there's no story with the marina ones. Beautiful good colorway. Shoe. Good shoe. There's no story behind the pollens. Uh, except for the fact that they like they rev- they're similar to the yellow toes, which we're getting this year, and the yellow toes is like a sample pair for a music uh, music group. But, but we 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 there's no there's no nothing about the pollens. There's nothing no story about the pollens. There's no story about any of some of the sneakers that we come that come out. But they're all great sneakers, and we all pick them up. There's no real story about the fusion ones, is there? I don't I, if, for, for my for my memory, but still great sneaker. Right. Yeah. Even if they if they released if they released this bubblegum and do this, this these bubblegum Jordan ones was a female uh, was a f- female a uh, women's release wasn't it more or less from what yeah. I remember yeah women's release yeah bro just release it and like female sneakers love that 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 was a great sneaker for the females um, and like any any anybody else that wanted to pick it up in the extended sizes but. To, to, to kind of like just say, yeah, he chewed bubblegum and we put bubblegum at the bottom. You could still put that bubblegum at the bottom and, and we, if you wanted to. Uh, like, but it just makes no sense to me. How is the story so, like, I could make up a story this minute in time. Jordan, J- Jordan loves... Um, Jordan loves basketballs, right? He loves the he loves he loves the texture of basketballs because he he plays with basketballs. I'm gonna design the upper of the sneaker, the toe box to be the the, the indentation of a basketball in 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 flight. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, we can make up a story. Let's just design that. That took me two seconds, bro. Yeah, uh, it's just a reach. Bro, or, 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 or even, or even Jordan, Jordan crook, like broke his finger in this game, and we're gonna design the snipe tick to have a broken night tick. I, I designed that in two seconds, bro. Hey man, it, it, we're gonna continue to see bad ideas at this point, because um, like you said, they are running out of material, so they are coming up with whatever they can come up with. I mean, and just the fact that just. If it's if it's about bubblegum, call it bubblegum. Where, yeah. where what does atmosphere have to do with it? It don't correlate. Like I, I don't want to. Maybe that. maybe maybe it's the fact that he when he chews bubblegum, it gives him the the atmosphere mode to get into like that aggressive, dynamic black cat. You know that he is. So but, I the, don't know. Ain't, but the shoe ain't black. So <laughs> 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 it's pink and blue. Yo, no, I don't, I don't understand the story, Lando. That's a, that's that's one thing I just wanted to touch on. But it's weird. Let, let's go, let's go, let's go into what what uh, was it? Grails or, or, or just terms of definitions? Term. Sneaker terms. Ten sneaker terms. So, I, I wanted to do this for um, those that may be listening and watching that do not understand the certain terms in sneaker culture and. I had began um, in, at the beginning of my journey. I had began to understand some of these terms organically, but some of them you really need um, educational. So quickly, colorways, self-explanatory. You know, yep. but colorways like we were just discussing the atmosphere. The atmosphere yep. is a colorway. It's, it's going to be called bubble gum. And it's going to be called atmosphere, but it's the same colorway, right? Is it is it um, the same as color blocking? If you if you put it, if you put it right, like the colorway, the color blocking basically is the aesthetics of the sneaker, the, the color that is, comes with the sneaker. Like you might have the breads, which will be black and red. You might have right. the like military blues, which will be just that military blue colorway. The merino ones, then you can get you can get 
the color blocking versions, which is like the reverse breads, the breads, the black toes, all of that, all of that comes on the colorways. It's the, just the color of the pattern on the sneaker that defines the generic look. So that generic look is now being rubber stamped as a pattern. So you've got a black toe pattern, you've got the Chicago pattern, um, you've got the bread pattern. Those are all different types of colorways that release. Yeah. Now, colorways and color blocking can be broken down into different yep. um, categories. But when, when you hear normally when you hear the term color blocking, you're referring to the way that a colorway is put together. Like that Chicago okay. color blocking is not necessarily red and white, but it's the the marine the marina blue has Chicago color blocking, but it's not yep. red and white, it's black and blue. But yep. color it's, ways it's, typically comes come with a name or a nickname, or both. So, um, number nine, <laughs> beaters. Be beaters, skeeter beaters. <laughs> <laughs> so, a beater, this, this is a beater. The way, the way that I got this P51 in the mail, this was a beater. Somebody wore this shoe every day. You go to the store in it, you go take out the trash in it, you cut the grass in it, you go to so, work so, in it, that's a beater. So so a, a beater necessarily isn't a sneaker that's actually like gone to the world. It, it could be a sneaker that you wear on a regular. Like it doesn't have to be like dirty, dusty, you know, you wear it to cut your grass in, you wear it to kind of go shopping in and stuff like that. It could just be a sneaker that you wear on a regular and you're like, I'm going to create this into my beater because it's so comfortable. I'm going to just keep wearing it. I love it so much. So all of a sudden, it's no longer a sneaker that's dead, almost dead, to, that you want to keep beating the shit out. It could be a sneaker that you actually love a lot and you want to wear a lot. You still preserve it, but it becomes your beater because it's your go-to sneaker. So that, that's that's what I classify as a beater, to be honest. So for, for me, a beater is a shoe that you don't care about anymore. <laughs> um, a beater um, like I, I wouldn't wear a beater to a party i wouldn't wear a beater with one i'm not i'm not buying new clothes to yeah. go with my beaters you know what i'm saying like a beater to me like i'm gonna keep the shoe because i liked it and it is comfortable for me to wear but like right now my beaters are a pair of jordan nine low snake skins yeah. i don't i don't hate the shoe like it's not totally destroyed but if I'm if I just need a shoe to throw on real quick to take the trash out or go check the mail or I just need to run to the gas station, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm doing it wrong. On. Maybe I'm doing it wrong because I'm I'm actually well maybe I'm doing it right and wrong at the same because I'm I'm turning the winterized Jordan fours into my beaters, but I've been the only with the cause that I've already got another pair in the background waiting. Yes. So I I know I know. Even though it's a brand new sneaker, I know I can just rock it, put it on, go out to the shop, boom, 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 and then I'm good to go. But I will still look after it, but it's my go-to sneaker. So this is why I said it's more of a go-to sneaker. Even though it's like still 9 out of 10, I'm going to make it into my beater eventually because it's just going to be a sneaker I'm just going to put on, go out, put on, go yeah. out. It's like boom, boom, boom. I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify that as a beater, uh, to be honest yeah. with you. Like saying a 9 out of 10, to me – a beater is five out of ten okay. and, and under. You know, once 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 it, it gets a certain amount of wear and tear on it, it's then it becomes a beater. If you get a big scuff across the front of your patent leather on your Concord Elevens, it's kind of it's kind of beater status now because you're not gonna wear yeah. that to go be your freshest. You know what I'm saying? I, okay, I, I wish I still had my Jordan Twelve winterized, um, winterized Twelves, um, because. Those were nine out of ten, and they became three out of ten, bro. Because I ripped, I, <laughs> I wore them every day to work uh, because I needed an all black sneaker, and that was like a winterized sneaker. It was worn in the cold into the summer, but bro, that that got really hot to to one point. But I'm gonna describe this to you. Imagine you are holding a Jordan Twelve up, right? Imagine the the front of the toe box is wavy, right? Yeah. Imagine the back panel where you put your when you put your foot in that whole that whole tab down the back of that panel was ripped like i'm talking yeah. the the sneaker was coming apart at the back in the foam is showing that's the beater and imagine literally the, if you haven't seen the winterized 12s 
that holds on to dust quite quite heavily. Like yeah. you have to constantly clean it. You, it it's static prone. It just when you, the more you wear it, the more it becomes for for some reason statically charged, and then it just <laughs> attracts dust. Maybe it's the way of maybe it's the, it's the fact that I was walking really fast in them. Uh, maybe it's the fact that you know um I I need to get a dynamo and they kind of keep charging my energy because like you could actually get some, <laughs> I can get some electricity back from that, bro. But but yeah, that that became my beater. That came that because I I needed an all black sneaker. I needed one sneaker I could take to work because obviously uh, I don't I wouldn't want to wear something really fancy to work because. I would, first of all, I would just get quite asked questions about. And secondly, it will be like, mm, these are going to get damaged, so I'd rather just wear them. Even though I work in the office, it's still like, I just want to keep it subdued. I just want to keep it all black. Um, I want that all black sneaker. Like, th- this is why the Winterize 4 is, to me, be- is more of a, a neutral color. It's like that navy blue, black, and you could just wear it anywhere and you just rock it, and it's nice. And this is why I think it's this, they'll, they'll eventually become my beta sneaker. Yeah. That yeah, that's that's a beater. That twelve is a beater. Next, <laughs> it's, got, it's, bro, he's crucified now, bro. <laughs> now we got retro, which is is kind of self explanatory. Like, if if you buy Jordans, more than likely you're buying retros um, of of signature silhouettes. Even even the, some of the team, a lot of the team Jordans are now falling into that retro category. It's a yeah. shoe that came out before, whether it be a silhouette or a colorway that came out before that is re-releasing, it's a retro. So that's so what, what's the difference what's the difference between a retro and an OG? Like uh, like so I, I, I know, but I'm, I want you to talk to talk to the audience about it. So OG at this point refers to colorways. Now we're going back to colorways. When we talk about OG colorways, it's the original color, the original release of this color. Let's say the the Jordan 5 black metallic. Yep. That's a OG colorway. OG meaning original. And I believe OG is further down into the list, so we kind of foreshadowing. But yeah. um OG means original. So when we say original, when we're talking about sneakers, we could be talking about a silhouette. We could be talking about a colorway. And most of the time, it's the, well, every time, it's that first one. It's it's the cement cement (laughs) four. It's it's the white cement four. You know, it's the fire red uh, three. It's the, the the black cement three. It's the Jordan one Chicago. And, and, a, and a retro is a take off the original sneaker with a pro- possibly a different block color blocking. So you might right. you might have like the den- like the denim threes is an o is a retro, but it still has hints of the OG in it. So basically, it's still a retro of the retro three or the OG retro three that came out in part. Right. So, so that's that's the difference we're talking about. That's that's what we actually kind of alluding to. Now it does get a little confusing when we talk about Jordan ones because Jordan one retros come with the OG tag, which yeah. I feel like is a bit of a problem for someone that doesn't know better. They might call this um, this colorway, say the pollen, an OG, but we've never seen the pollen yeah. colorway. Yeah. So the, the, the colorway is not OG. Actually, the yeah. silhouette is not OG. The high 85 Jordan 1 is the OG silhouette. Yeah. It's slightly different from the Jordan 1 retro OG in whatever colorway. Whether so even gonna, if it's an OG it. colorway, it's still the silhouette is a little bit different. If they release a a, a Jordan 1 high 85 Chicago colorway, that would be and OG, oh, that's a triple OG. Yeah, <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> triple slam dunk. All right, cool. So, 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 so talk, talk to us about the controversy with the Cool Grey 11s. Like, why is that not an OG? And why is that just a retro for some people? And why is that an OG for some people and not a retro? Well, I it's, think explain, it is. Explain, that situ- explain that situation. 
I think it's an OG. I, I put it in the OG category because when we talk about 11s, we're talking about Concord. We're talking about the black and red or playoff or bread. And we're talking about the UNC or Columbia colorways. Yeah. yeah. Um, the cool gray 11 was not seen until 2001, well after yeah. we saw the original 11s. And because... Yeah. The first time we saw it, Michael Jordan actually had it on in a game for the Washington Wizards. Washington Wizards, yeah. I put it in the OG category because he wore it before we got to buy it. Yeah, yeah. So it's I consider that an original colorway of the Air Jordan 11 because he wore it. Most most people don't, don't even count shoes that he don't wear. That, yeah. that he didn't wear in the game. Yeah. So so to, to purists, that's the, some purists will take it to a different level where they say, well, it didn't come out in the year of the elevens, so right. it's not an OG. And that's that's where that's where the that's where the fine line between people that will see see Jordan Jordan Michael Jordan wearing a sneaker to be an OG to if it didn't release in the same day as 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 the original pairs it's not an OG because it's a retro of that original pair that released it was it 95 96 we're talking about right now yeah. you you that that's that's an asterisk there is a definitely a big asterisk on the cool great 11s whether you you call it an OG or not is up to you. I consider it an OG for the reasons I stated, but I'm, I can't be mad at somebody that doesn't call it an OG. So, what do you think about the Space Jams? Um, I would I, I would also consider the Space Jam an OG for similar reasons. Um, if if the if the athlete, and we're talking about Jordan. If if the athlete wears it first, I I have to put it in the OG category. That's just how yeah. I think. If if we saw Michael Jordan wear the Crimson Fours, but he wasn't playing in them, he was on the sideline, <laughs> you know, bro. Being, being that's an OG. That's an OG from twenty twenty two, bro, or twenty twenty one. That's twenty. That's an OG twenty 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 one OG, bro. He he wore them. He wore them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> in, in, in retirement. In retirement. <laughs> bro. The, the they, retirement fours. They're as good as the breads, bro, because he wore them in retirement. The retirement fours. <laughs> he, he wore them to a kids game. <laughs> <laughs> the <sideline> fours. <laughs> retired. Retired. Retired those crimson fours. That's the one. <laughs> okay, so PP, and this this is a, a eBay term. So I I kind of yeah. wish we would have went over this with Cam, but um, pretty much we're talking about eBay, PayPal invoices. When when yeah, you yeah. see PP, INV, that's if if you don't buy on eBay or pre-owned or whatever online. You probably wouldn't have to worry about this, but PP slash IMV, we're talking about PayPal invoice. Yeah, yeah. Next, of course, Yeezy. hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is Yeezy a term in your in this termination definition? Why does Yeezy just got particular like Yeezy? <laughs> Yeezy, Yeezy is his own category, okay? <laughs> Yeezy one day, is his own one category. Day, one day we are going to get that documentary on Kanye and his life and his tribulations and his uprise from just a music producer to what he is now at the moment, a, a mogul, an absolute mogul. You know what? I've never seen somebody rise that fast from from I, I, all right, let's just the first time I ever knew Kanye. Let, let's just let's look, have a look at Kanye because we're on this Yeezy subject. Ye, obviously, Yeezy means uh, it's a, it's it's basically Kanye's name into one Yeezy Yeezy brand. Um, so that that's what that's what the definition means. And obviously, Yeezy is a brand within Adidas that actually sells you three fifties, four hundred, four four fifties, seven hundred, all the Yeezy brand, all the Yeezy sneakers with both space boots and stuff. But <laughs> like, let, let's let, let's let's give credit with credits due Kanye West is an absolute genius and will go down in history as a legend 
to what he's yeah. done. My first experiment. Unfortunately um, for him, a lot of his antics were caught on tape. Yeah. So. <laughs> Unlike other people's. <laughs> Unlike other people's. But let's 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 um let's break down my first earliest 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 contact with Kanye was when he was involved in that accident that actually meant um he did a song called Food Wire. Um and that song was amazing bro he rapped through his clasped closed jaws to produce through the wire then he was given his rockefeller chain and we were, i remember seeing that and he joined rockefeller he joined jay-z he became the official producer and from those humble beginnings we saw kanye rise to what we could classify the top of what he does as in music production as in like a, a, a designer or a clothes, he literally has and is doing what he wanted to do, to, to do from, from the spur of start. He is a mogul. And the only person I've ever seen do it as well as he has is uh, P. Diddy with, with Bad Boy. Yeah, well, you got, you got Birdman and you got Master yeah. P also. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as crossing over, Kanye, outside of uh, Pharrell, who we mentioned earlier, also um, Kanye has has taken. He he's the only guy from outside of the sneaker brand world that has done has been able to do what he's done to to have us going 20, 15, 30, 40 minutes at a time talking about him. When we're talking about sneakers, we have to talk about him. Yeah, and yeah. he started out, as you said, as a as a producer to being a rapper to now being a mogul in fashion, not only yeah. sneakers, but in fashion. Yeah. Because and, and, and this is this is why I say mogul because I don't classify it as just music. He's not music, but he's a mogul. He's literally yeah. a well-rounded mogul for what he does. And let's not let's not. Let's keep it real, like we always do. Everybody's tried it. Real. We had we had we had Jay Z doing Rockefeller. We had Apple Bottom jeans. We had short yeah. jeans from P Diddy. Fat we farm. Had, uh, fat farm, bro. We 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 been through the brands. We Let's like, go. we've been here. Yeah, exactly, bro. We've been through the brands. We know exactly what we people are trying. But he's the first person. You ca- You cannot say that he's crazy but this is when i say when if, if anybody can can you can because he has because he has yeah, and let's be, he let's has. be honest uh, and the amount the amount of criticism we throw at the guy the amount of things we say to him the amount of things we actually slate him for and the designs he does but bro what he every designs catches on yeah no matter how ugly it is the height <laughs> the hype carries it <laughs> to the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, he's the only person that's trans- tra- translated from music into fashion, into what he does really well. And this is why I think the only one that's relatable to him, that's done it as well as him, or try to do it as well as him, is is Puff Daddy and the bad boy Enterprise, even though we've seen Birdman. Birdman does a lot of shit, let's just be honest. Um, Masterpiece still ro- rocking it, and you've got to respect it. But Kanye at this modern day and age is actually taking it to a whole new level. Like literally, yeah. he is he's the king of his throne and he could he could basically call the shots um for yeah. fashion, for music, for everything. And then this is why you got to respect his grind and hustle. You gotta respect it. Even if you don't like it, you gotta respect it. Yeah, I don't have to I don't have to like something to to recognize what's going on with it. Yeah, exactly, um, exactly. The next term. GR slash limited. <laughs> now, there's a bit of a blurred line. This this slash in between the word uh, or the letters GR and the word limited has become a little wiggly because now uh, you know you know, part, you know you know why it's become wiggly, bro. Why? You are fake news. <laughs> <laughs> it's because because everybody listens to that fake news on Instagram. No, it's not X, bro. I think it's not X. Uh, no, bro, it could be. Uh, we don't know. We don't want to provide allegations to anybody, but it's the fake news that you listen to. Like, I'm going to give you an example. 
Like when before the pollens came out and before the the Pat and Bray ones came out, they, they li, li, this and this is what it's really, really interesting. We didn't get stock numbers, right? We oh. didn't get anything. All we got was these are limited. Look at the hype. We we saw we saw resellers have stocks and stocks and stocks. So anybody anybody that's anybody will be thinking. Yo, they've got they've got low, they 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 got their pairs and it's limited and these are resellers picking up all their pairs. They must be really limited because everybody's backdooring them. All the pairs are gone. No, that's mm -hmm. not the situation. Mm -mm. Pollen's, if, Pollen's if, released for a good month, month and a half. Yo, these, these breads are going to be released until mid yeah. mid mid February, and they yeah. came out on the thirtieth of December. So when when a reseller when you see a reseller pick up loads of pairs of sneakers, we're not talking about trophy room ones. Trophy ones, what trophy ones was was a stupid, stupid situation. We're talking about a, a sneaker that is not hyped and is not gr, not hyped and is still about to come out. If you see all the resellers pick up, secret to the game. If you see all the resellers have countless amount of pairs in the background, telling you they've got pairs, these are limited. Nine out of ten situation. It's not limited, guys. It's a GR. <laughs> it's not limited. It's a GR. GR but, meaning general release. Yeah, exactly. General release. It means it, they're going to be loads of these pairs. But yeah. now, now, if you see resellers not talk about the sneaker, there's a lot of hype, and not a reseller, not a lot of resellers have been picking up these sneakers because they're they're they are hard to get. That's limited. So. Yeah. Limited, Keep. limited meaning um, there are not enough pairs for everybody to get them. When we talk yeah. limited, we're talking about SB Dunks. We're talking about um, collabs, whether it be uh, Adidas or Nike or Jordan. We're talking about Bad Bunny Forms. We're talking about J Balvin Ones. We're talking about Travis Scott, Jordan, and Nike releases. Those, Those are, are limited. normally limited. We're not talking yeah, about yeah. exclusive. We're like we're not talking about we the best threes or uh, friends and family pairs. Like those are exclusive. Play, play, we, like, I, yeah, we're talking yeah. about limited. We're talking about Patter Air Max ones. You know, we're talking about Union Fours and Union Dunks and Supreme Jordans and Supreme Dunks and all this type of. That's limited. A uh, GR is every store imaginable that sales new jordan releases will probably have this shoe at some point and i, yes, I yes. say at some point because of the way the game has been in the past couple of years with the pandemic with late shipments with uh with the backdoor epidemic most of these stores will get pairs of grs but because of the resale culture grs are kind of leaning toward looking limited they aren't actually limited they look so, limited because the so, resellers are picking up so many pairs early. Yeah, so so if you if you if you see your local reseller have a hundred of these pairs in the background telling you they're limited, they're not limited, guys. You just be be careful that you don't get caught out because if 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 a reseller is telling you if a reseller is telling you um I've got I've got I've got a pair for you, and there's hundreds of pairs in the background, the the, the, the likelihood is that he wants to get the rid of them quite quickly because he knows that there's loads of stock on them. Well, if you have a reseller, only have two, three, or four of these pairs, and tell you, yeah, this is this is thing, um, and he's not promoting it because he knows the resale is going to go up and up and up because at the moment the resale ain't reflecting what he can sell it, and it's, unless he's going to sell it for presale, he's not, and he's going to put the presale up up there. He doesn't. He's more more likelihood is going to wait and get all the pairs and wait until after release date when he's going to spike up the price because he knows it's a very limited pair. So don't get caught out, guys. This is a bit of advice. This is sneaker knowledge and news for you guys because you need to know when to act and when not to act. So if you see a sneaker that is super, super limited and resellers aren't picking them up, it's more like more than likely it's going to be limited. But if you see a reseller trying to sell you a sneaker pre-sale and there's loads of repairs in the background, more than likely there is a mass stock. So don't get caught out. Shall, shall, we, shall, we, shall we talk about grails and go into grails and we can cover the other topics um, next week? Well, let's, let's, let us skip 
Um, quickly, we can run through bread. We already discussed bread. Bread typically means black and red. Black and red. And it yep. is, it's referring to Jordan sneakers. So a lot of black and red Jordan sneakers will be called bread. Not all bread. of them. Typically, the OGs, um, bread fours, uh, bread uh, ones, but was uh, bread twelves or or flu games sometimes are called bread. DS, DS means dead stock, meaning stock. brand new, unworn. Never yep. Simple. If if somebody tells you it's DS and you see dirt on the bottom, it's not DS. That's it's more it's likely. It, it's more DS. likely. Yeah. Yeah. VNDS means very near. Very near dead, dead stock. stock. Yeah. If you buy used, you want to buy VNDS when possible. Exactly. And exactly. the number one term, which we may spend a little bit of time on. <laughs> <laughs> not not this episode. Not maybe not this episode. Unauthorized and replica fake. Unauthorized replica no. fake. Okay. We will cover it. We'll definitely cover this in the topic uh, in terms of when, where, how these replicas are made, when you, you, should, you should be wary, when you might like what not want to go into the market, where to spot these replicas and fakes. And, and especially especially if Yin Lin Lin from China messages you on your Instagram and says, <laughs> I've got a pair for you. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't buy fake shoes unless you know they're fake. And you, you your, your, instant respo- your instant response should be... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then you should be saying, oh, hell no. and then, <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. so moving on to grails, which this this is a this is a bit of a deep dive topic because grails over time has have been classified. Certain sneakers have been classified as grails, and I don't think it's fair to the the individual to say this is or isn't a grill so for you tj what would you consider a grill for you oh a, a grill to me is a sneaker a, a, a grill uh, some, it depends on the person like, i'm gonna be honest a, a grill depends on a person somebody's grill could be a yeezy somebody's grill could be uh, a Travis Scott, Travis Scott Hyde, Mocha Travis Scott Hyde, or the or the or the Travis Scott fragments. They could a grill could be a sneaker that they really desire, really want, but at the moment in time they can't. They they they're hunting for that grill, which which is they they're productively working themselves to get that grill. So for me personally, a grill is a sneaker that I haven't got that I really want. And it has a lot of meaning to it. So it has to be either like a Chicago or a, you know what I'm saying? So like that to me is a grill because it, it has meaning. But a grill doesn't mean, to me, a grill isn't, um, it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be related to history. It doesn't need to be related to anything except for the fact that you want it, you need it. And it is one of the sneakers you most most desire. It, it can, like grills, grills are, are different to everybody. So let me ask you this. Does a grail uh, constitute price or hype for no. you? No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't. Uh, well, when you, when you look at the definition, um, from what I've heard over time and from reading different definitions, because the term grail comes from Holy Grail, which yep. uh, refers to the biblical quest uh, where they went searching for this thing that was unattainable, and, or, or and you just said, thought and you, didn't exist, and you and you and you said it. You said it right there. It's it's a quest. It's a quest for a something that you really want and you're really looking for. So for me, like I would say, my quest, but one of my grails is the black metallic fives or the Dornbecker f- a five. So, but that's not on, on somebody else's list because that to me has a lot of meaning, like in terms of that, that sneaker in, in itself. Like I, I, I regard that as a grail. Like I would regard the Chicago ones as a grail or yeah. like the, the fire red freeze that's coming out. That to me is a grail because of the meaning of the sneaker. And once I get it, it's a grail ticked off. See what I'm saying? 
your personal meaning though They're like because because yeah. when people talk grills a lot of times they're talking about um f- friends and families or pe releases yeah. or, or not releases but but pe sneakers that were only given to certain people because of who this person is this this yeah, yeah. this this team is going to get this this uh this Marquette Jordan four because they are players and coaches for On Marquette basketball, yeah, yeah. you know, or or you know this limited the Lightning fours is the Lightning four not a grail anymore because it got a wide release? No, is, it's still grow, it's a still grail to me because I even though I've got it up there, you can see it's up there. I'm right. going to point to it, it's up there. Even though it's up there, it's still a grail, bro. It's still it's still a a must have. And then like it's a sneaker. Even if you got it, it's still a grail. It it doesn't mean you, the quest is over, but it's still a grail because you still a sneaker you, you really highly cover. And that's what it is. It's coveted. It's, it's a coveted sneaker that you will. Bro, we've just shown these, the friends and family, quite a K fifty four, Jordan vibes, right? This is a grail for me. This the, the black the black version is, of this was a grail. It's a friends and family. It, you broke it. Co- it it costs about of about one point five k to get in hand, but I made it. I made it from 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 the, the original K fifty four sneaker. So to me, this was always going to be a grail for me because it's a five and it's that black uh, the black K K fifty four is a friends and family pack. And I made I made my grail. I made it because I right. was and I and, I, and, I, and even though it's relatively new and it came out last year and I and I first saw it last year. It became a sneaker I really wanted because of the aesthetics of it. It reminds me so much of the black metallics. It reminds me so much of the of the PSG fives, and it reminds me so much of the of the, of the Supreme fives. But it became and bro, and the high gloss on this also reminds me of the Dornbecker fives. Yeah, right. So um, so I'm like, that's the grail. Like that was anything in that mold. Becomes a a okay sneaker that I really want. Um, and it, 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 to be honest, I can't. It was a friends and family pack. The new butt version, um, the, the the one I customized became a sneaker I wanted. I wouldn't regard it as a grail, grail, grail that I really need, but it became a sneaker I really wanted, and I made and I've got now. Which which now looking at it, it is all is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so from that perspective, yeah. Okay, cool. It's not it's not a grill, but so some people that could be a grill. And then you, I agree with you. P PEs PEs could be automatically regarded as grills yeah. because they're highly exclusive. So right. exclusive exclusivity comes into effect. So sometimes when you look when you talk about grills, that hundred percent does. To me, um, exclusivity definitely contributes to grail status. Something like a a trophy room, which is it is lightweight unattainable unless you have a certain now when we talk about money when we talk about the cost of something um especially post release like you can say um for me Jordan 5 black metallic the Jordan 13 he got game those shoes were both essential to my collection I have both now. I paid resale for both, but I did not pay a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars for them. That don't mean to me that is not a grill. The Jordan Five Black Metallic, which y'all probably gonna hear me talk about every episode of the Shoe Dog Podcast. <laughs> okay? That shoe, that's my favorite sneaker, my favorite shoe ever. Like, can't nobody say anything bad about that shoe to me. That's your opinion, whatever. You can dislike it, you can hate it, you can love it. I feel like no one can love that shoe as much as I do. Not even Michael Jordan or Tinker Hatfield could love that shoe as much as I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, it's, that's a grill for me. The, the Jordan 4 UNC that came out last year, I put it number two on my top 10 uh, from 2021, to me, that shoe was an instant grill. Not because I thought that it was going, the price or the hype on it was going to go through the roof. It's because I love it so much. 
So from this point forward, say in seven, eight, nine years that she re-releases, -re guess who's going to be buying a pair? It's going to be are. me. <laughs> yeah. Because I just love that shoe so much. Like when, when people talk about grills, we talk about uh, shattered backboards. We talk about doing Beckers. We talk about um, OG Yeezy releases, uh, Yeezy 1 and uh, Yeezy 2 Nikes. Uh, we talk about PEs and all this stuff. Great. I understand that from a different perspective, though. I just don't like how somebody can say that can't be a grail for you. If Cam loves the, the Flight 89. Yeah. Why can't he love the Flight 89? Why can't he put that on his personal grail list? People that generalize grail list to me are hype beast. Yeah. There's the hype beast grail list, and then there's the general grail list. There's the individual grail list. Is the Shattered Backboard 1.0 on my grail list? Yes, it is. Yeah. Because I love that shoe, not because somebody else said this should be a grail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 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 like that, like you get instant classics like Lightning, Lightning Force come out. That became an instant grail for a lot of people because of the ex exclusivity of it and the fact that they couldn't get it and it was quite limited. So that became a grail. Like he got games is a grail to me because I basically I looked at I I looked at the movie. Uh, I I relate to the story. I relate to it. So he it came it became an instant like grail to me. And the bro that it hands down is a gorgeous sneaker that he got right. game thirteens. Um. So so for me. It's yeah. It's it's based. It's the it's based on what you like and what makes that makes. And some some of the grills are exclusive. Some of the grills aren't exclusive. It, it, it not everything needs to be exclusive to become a grill. And then that's 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 for me is just the way I feel. Because and nobody can tell you what's in that list. So somebody's grill could be the wave runners. Like I I I didn't I didn't think it was a grail. It's still not a grail to me, but it's a sneaker I wanted to pick up because I respect it way more than I did res respect it back when it came out in right. 2016 or 17. So to me, that's a that is not a grail, but I respect it a lot. But then there's other sneakers that I do love and I do want that are exclusive. So I can take two 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 samples. The the black metallic five, one of my favorite pairs. Need it again. Right. Once I get it again, it's still a grail to me. That's not that's not hype, bro. That's that's just a very iconic historical sneaker. You, right. I could probably pick that up quite easily, but I'm waiting for that re-release because I want that brand spanking new pair in my hand. Right. Yes. Yes. Then you look at the Dawnbecker Five, this, which is going for like add another zero to the end of that. <laughs> just add, See, add another add, add another zero to the end of that and to the end of that black metallic five that's the price you have to pay for that dawn becker five right yeah that's really exclusive and that's another grail to me so there's two spectrums to that grail a grail that's exclusive and a grail that's not exclusive but both have the same meaning so for me the price of a sneaker doesn't dictate how the grail or the grail worthy of a sneaker because that's that that black metallic that that black metallic five and that Dawnbreaker five to me have the same grail status because those are beautiful sneakers. But now some people say you only allowed one grail, bro. Shit. <laughs> how, I don't how, I don't know who that is, but I got I got at least whew, and see a lot of my grails. A lot of my grails, bro, people would look at me like, what? That's a grail for you? Because I got the Nike Air Veer on my grail list. I got uh, Diamond Turf on my grail list. The Griffey <laughs> 1, the Griffey Max 1 Freshwater was on my grail list. I got it, and I still love it just as much. Yeah, Every yeah. time I pull it out the box, I love it just as much as I did before I had it. So that's a grail for me. The Air Max 95 Neon. I remember that shoe as a kid, the first time I saw it and the feeling I had, and I still get that same feeling every time I look at my pair that I own, you know? So the, again, the, the, the fives that he got game 13s, like um, Chicago ones, Shatter Backboard ones. I, bro, I don't, people can have as many grails as they want. It's for me, grails are personal to the extreme like yeah if, if somebody says 
the Reebok Classic leather all white is a grail for me. I can't argue that. I can't argue it. If if that if I feel like that person is being genuine with me, a shoe that they can go buy 20 times over in one day and spend 70 bucks each, if that's your grail, if that's the only shoe you want to wear because you love it so much, I can't tell you you're wrong. Yeah, I, yeah. That's that's the same difference for me as hype, a hype beast saying uh that's that's not a good shoe because the price didn't skyrocket. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. That that don't mean the same thing. And, and it's, it's it's really unfortunate when you when you when you hear like some people say, Oh, that would that uh, the 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 black uh, what do you call it? No. Uh the lightning fours are no longer a grail to them because of the mass release. It's like you when didn't did love it, when that shoe. It, yeah. You love the hype. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't love that shoe. Some people, some people out there have three pairs of the 2021 Lightning Fours because it's a grail to them. They had the original pair and they bought three new ones because they love that shoe so much. And they're going to wear every single pair of that shoe because it's a grail for them. And you got to respect it or yep, not. Yep. If you don't respect it, oh, well, that's one less friend in the sneaker community for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell somebody. I would never. I would try my best. And I know we trash a lot of shoes like there. There's stuff that come out that we don't like and we call it trash and we say it's ugly. But for those people that like those shoes, hopefully our opinion doesn't uh, sway them from liking what they like. And yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah. that doesn't deter them from wanting to have conversation about why they love something or why something means that much to them. Not that that it may be a grail. You can love something and it not be a grail. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love the, the P51 fives, but it's not on my grail list. I love a lot of Jordan ones, but they aren't on my grail list. So I, I think the grail conversation is just so subjective and um, it leaves it leaves a bad taste in my mouth in particular, and probably in the mouths of other sneakerheads because hype drives opinion for some yep, people. Yep. I try my best not to let hype drive my opinion. If I like something, I like it. If it's hyped or not, that's not that's not going to sway my opinion. I love the the Jordan One on my years. I got in my collection. Uh, it was my number one shoe from last year. I'm not going. I'm not going to let anybody's opinion change my opinion. I love that yep. shoe. I don't care what 100%. anybody else thinks about it. Yeah, that, that's that's hundred percent. Like, and the, the grow list is all. It's more of a personal thing. It's more. It's it's definitely more of a personal personal um, thing to you as a, as a sneakerhead because that that's always going to be your list. That's always going to be something that you want. And desire for and let's let's not go let's not get it twisted some some people really want like hype sneakers to be on their grill list constantly that that's it that's done because basically not that that's what they want that's what they want and need to be to stay black and young not young sneakers are probably more like this a bit more because they want to be relevant they will, and we've all been there we've all been to the point where when we were young we were like yo i wanted this i want this i want this i want to keep up with the times but when you start to get older you're like i always want to i always want to an og i just want a retro i just want this and we're like cam says go and pick up the sneakers you really want to right. go get in your time machine Go back and pick up the sneakers you want because at the end of the day, what you want and desire on your grill list shouldn't be affected by other people. But that's the situation with grills in my terms. It's, it's, it's get what you want. Get literally put that put put it and not, nothing that happens with that release or nothing the fact that it's no longer exclusive should affect your list because then, like you said, like you said, Q, it's the fact that you didn't really love it. You just loved the hype behind it. Yeah. Don't let don't don't fall victim to the hype, man. Exactly, exactly. Don't don't fall victim. Don't be a casualty of that hype. Don't get those bullets <laughs> from those hypes, bro. Because that that, that they they are they are stingers, bro. There are stingers to that. There, there, there's a there's a whole level of 
not get involved in hype and 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 realizing that it's not it's not what it's built to be because you you're on this false illusion um that commodity uh, drives what you are as a human being and in reality to be to be to be like a, a a human being is more than just what you have and what you buy it is is more to being a human being than just showing off what you've got pretty much yep, and yep. try to try to place more value than you accept the value that's been placed by others yeah exactly exactly yeah. but so we move on to the next subject <sighs> this is going very... to be interesting <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be got? controversial. What you got, TJ? Okay. So, 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 the next subject, the next to- to- topic to discuss is what makes a custom or a sneaker, <laughs> right? A custom or a sneaker different from a high brand to a low end. So we've had this controversy. Well, we have this controversy, controversy where Nike have made it like like you're seeing on screen. What what say 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 the sneaker, bro? Say the sneaker before I forget what it is myself. This, this is the Steve Madden. I don't know the technical name of it, but it's it's pretty much a fake off white Jordan one. <laughs> okay, so it's the Steve Madden. Off white Jordan one Chicago. So we know we know we know Steve Madden's been sued and we've had we've had Warren Lotus and we've had Cool Kai. So we 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 know I'm just gonna pull up I'm gonna pull up the cool um some of the cool Kai and the the what do you call it Warren Lotus sneakers because I wanna show everybody what we're talking about. We're talking about these sneakers, this Warren Lotus yes. sneaker. Um, this is this is off the pigeons. It's a replica off the pigeons, and then we've got um, we've got the other ones here. I should have put it all in one screen. Unfortunately, that didn't work that way. Um, so we have the other version, which is this Reaper. Let me just pull this Reaper up. Share that. This is the Reaper. Uh, it looks like a Dunk SB Dunk Low. Uh, we we know Warren Lotus is in real trouble uh, with Nike, so the question is, with with uh, I'm going to show you a, qu- a quick. Sh- I'm going to share the the cool Kai with you because this is another good example of a person that's entrepreneuring um, and trying to make something w- of something that is already out there. And we're we're like, mm, okay, cool. Uh, I I see what you're doing. But I think you're. I think it's not a good move for you to do that because Jordan and Nike are going to be on your tail, which they obviously have been. So let's try yeah. to this cool guy up. They haven't. They haven't been able to stop Cool Kaido, which um, I'm happy for him and um, what he's doing um, because a lot of his stuff is sought after, and he does. He does a lot of dope designs, but it's obviously based on. The Jordan the one, still one. Yeah, exactly, and uh, because because he is independent and because he does all his own work, um, him and and his team, I have um, had the pleasure of meeting some of um, the people at Cool Kai. Thanks to uh, Retro Rick at uh, RetroCon, they always show up. Retro Rick has a personal relationship with Cool Kai, so um, I might be a little biased when it comes to Kai. I don't own so, any so, Kai's because um, I don't. They're not for me, but I do appreciate what he does. So, okay, cool. Do you uh, first? Let's make a first step. Do you agree or disagree with what Cool Kai, with what Warren Lotus has done, but with what um, Steve Madden has done? Lotus and Kai, I don't have um, much issue with. Steve Madden, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but what is, what is what is what is technically the difference? Because I'm I'm going to play the devil's advocate. I'll I'll play I'll play the brand and yeah. you play the consumer. So I'm going to sue these guys because they've taken the Jordan One model. Um, I'm remember I'm I'm I'm, I'm acting I'm I'm being far uh, fair and consistent. I'm being the brand. 
you're the community consumer and this is this is this is me against you so like i don't like that i'm going to sue them and this is this is nike band talking i want to sue warren lotus for and and cool kai and steve madden for their, their designs because you are ripping off the original silhouette of the jordan one so what's the difference between the two what's the difference between warren lotus and cool kai no, warren lotus cool kai and steve madden um as a consumer like I said, I have I have bias. Um, I have bias toward Steve, uh, not Steve. I'm sorry. Bias toward Cool Kai and Warren Lotus and guys like John Geiger also. And there are a lot of other um, a lot of other in, indie brands that do similar stuff. They take silhouettes that um, the copyrights are kind of fuzzy on. And so, from from the consumer's perspective. It's, it's based on whether or not I like it. And I understand the brands or the corporations that say, wait a minute, you took my design. I don't yep. like that. So now I'm going to sue you. I get it. I get it from both sides. It, it To me, it comes down to do you like it or not as a consumer. And like I said before, I, I don't. Kai has some stuff that I like this particular pair that we're looking at, the, the Paisley print. Um, UNC, the UNC, yeah. Um, I I like, I do like the design and the colorway, but I can't see myself wearing that. <laughs> there have only let, been let, uh, a let, few a, a few guys that I could see myself actually pulling off. So, so let, let's be let's be honest. Cool car has become really popular, and um, we've seen we've seen who's that guy that was wearing it? It was in this must sneak news the other day. He there was a coach that wore. The cool guys on court, the yeah, well, 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 in a game. So he's getting popularity, and which is great for him, which is which is awesome to see. Um, so in, in, in the way I look at it is, I think even with Steve Madden, what would what, what he's done, and uh, with with what, what Warren Lotus has done, and with what Cool Kai has done, they're very similar things, um, and that they've replaced something on a silhouette and made it different. But made it the unique to themselves, but also, but also they've used the original pa patent and literally grabbed it and manipulated it to to what they want. So this is a term of customization. It's a ter it's a t it's a term of customization. Um, but they've they've replicated the sneaker from fresh to do what they've done now, right? So yeah. in retrospect, in retrospect, it's their own unique take on the Jordan One. But it's still a Jordan One, and I can see why I can see why Nike and Jordan are upset with it. I see I can see why lawsuits are going out, but I can also see also see the flip side of it uh, from from the designers are saying Cool Kai and and and, um, and Warren Lowe saying, well, we've just created something unique to because we're inspired off off that model. And on the flip side, you have guys like the shoe surgeon. And I'm going to pull it up now. Let me let me pull it up now quickly before we go on. The the shoe surgeon is in a, a bit of a different category, in my opinion, because he actually buys the product and rebuilds it, as opposed to guys like Warren and Kai that actually produce their own version of an existing product, which can be looked at as plagiarism, which can yep. be looked at as infringement. So um, from the legal standpoint, I can't I can't argue with Nike, um, you know, wanting to bring lawsuits, but bespoke bespoke is what the shoe surgeon does. Yeah. Okay. That now man. he has, as you can see on the website, he has actual full size runs. I'm not sure if it's one per size. Or if Bro, there are ten multiple. grand, yeah, ten grand, yeah, and I, I can't, I can't argue the price. I and can't argue the price <laughs> because this is one of a kind stuff. Like, like I told you when you first revealed that uh, friends and family <laughs> custom of the K fifty four Jordan five, that shoe, I, if I were you, I wouldn't sell that shoe for less than five, six, seven, ten thousand because it's one of a kind. Yeah. Um, even if it's recreated, it's not the first one. Yeah. <laughs> you know. 
so, so you, you, you've seen you've seen some of these designs the, these are these are really like unique designs but yeah, the thing is yeah, the, yeah they, they this is this is like the louis vuitton print for the for the for the jordan one this looks like the travis scott mocha this could be this could, this could be the mocha ones as well but, if, but the materials that he that he's using he's using he's way training. way better materials than the actual brand is using and and these these shoes are being created by hand one by one they're mm -hmm. not mass produced at all um so that price tag is understandable for me like you, you can you can pull up the shoe surgeon and see him and his team yeah. actually doing the work yeah oh, but what 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 I'll say is if you were to, if you were to go in his shop um there is there is a section there where you can get accessories and parallels i think um not not that there used to be i don't know if it's gone now um but you can go in and get all the, yeah there you go you can get you can get the you can get the shoemaking bundles as well so basically it gives you it gives you like a shoemaker it gives you the mask it gives you the foams it gives you the materials so you can you you can really recreate a sneaker from fresh um but what what the whole whole shoe surgeon's driven on is grabbing the sneaker that you've got building on that with the new materials and reconstructing it it's a deconstruct to reconstruct right and like cool kai and like warren lotus to create the sneaker from fresh and that is totally different to what the shoe surgeon does but in reality what the shoe surgeon sells is is a fresh kit and you literally it, it literally is so bro you can buy the kit they'll give you the kit um to to yeah. order they give you, they give you the the shoemakers bundle, which includes the the foams. I don't know why he stopped selling the foams now, because basically you see that mask there, the foam that oh. that shoe mask, that 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 used to be that used to be something that he used to sell back in the day. Yeah, I don't he, know whether he's got rid of that. He's he's selling a service for the most part. Yep. Like when yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when you see someone go to him and they say, "I want oh, a, a and by the way, you, like this," you can get patterns as well as well. Yeah. You can get you can get you can get a pattern for the Jordan one in your size. So if I, if you're US 11, 11 and a half, there you go. There's a pattern. And they, you can basically add it to cart. Five hundred dollars though. Um, yeah. So you 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 can you can get that. You can definitely get that. So in in reality, uh, they, 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 that's what I was looking at. Shoe last. You can get a Air Force One. You can get all the last you want. You can get Yeezy seven hundred, Yeezy three fifty. And you can get the Jordan three, two, three. Uh, ironically, it's the same mask. There you go, the same last three and four. Yeah, yeah, it's three and four. So it's a very similar sneaker. But yeah, you can you can get a Jordan one last for like 200, 200 pounds. So you grab that, put it in your cart, and there you go. That's your size. But that, but the thing is, we we we. This is get grabbing a sneaker, recreating it, deconstructing, recreating it, and putting it back together, which which shoe surgeon does. But to create, look for what Cool Kai does. And for the other guys, do they make their sneaker from absolutely fresh, absolute scratch? And that there is why Nike and Jordan are chasing um, them to shut them down because they've they can do what Jordan and Nike do. And but now, but now the hypocrisy comes into play. Mm -hmm. The 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 whole oh, hell no. because. We're talking about we're talking about independent we're talking about independent people like Warren Lotus, like um Cool Kai and like Steve Madden. Now no, let's have a look at these now like have, have a look at these big brands, these big, big brands. And let's talk about what is the difference between Amiri, Balenciaga, um Mesa Margiela doing what they do. What and they are allowed to get away with stuff like this. This is Louboutin. Um, Louboutin is Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Louis, Louis Vuitton, Louboutin, however, however you say, I've heard it pronounced <laughs> uh, different ways. This is essentially a Jordan Four knockoff. If you look at it, and um, rest in peace, Virgil Abloh designed mm -hmm. this shoe. We know. Virgil loved Jordans. We know it. And if you look at this shoe, it's basically a Jordan 4 with a with a few changes. You can't tell me it's not. Nobody 
Yeah. Jordan Brand, Mike himself, Tinker, nobody can tell me that this shoe was not based on a Jordan 4. What's the difference between Louboutin doing this <laughs> and, 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 and Kai <laughs> or uh, Warren Lotus or John Geiger? Because we, we didn't mention John Geiger. He got in trouble for uh, replicating the Air Force One. But so yeah. did Bape. Bape also replicated the Air Force One and other Nike silhouettes as well. They they replicated the Air Max 90. So why then does Bape and Louboutin and Amiri okay. and these other brands get to do what they do? Look at this. What is Look, this? What is this? This? Is, this is this is what this is what was this is what came out last week. This is the this is a deconstructed. Let's just say Mason Margiela, right? Deconstructed Lightning Four Jordan Four Lightning, bro. There's except for the placement of the wings, except for the cut, and maybe some of the paneling. There's it's nothing. A it's a four, bro. It's a four. And, and number one is deconstructed. Like that midsole is deconstructed to the point where you put that on. That's not got a lot of wears on it, right? It's a four, bro. How how are you, how are Louis Vuitton or oh, Mason Bargello get away with stuff like this? Like what 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 like why is Nike Mike and Jordan Brand not looking at this and saying, "Yo, you can't do that." What the hell you, have you done? It's a four. Um, bro. These courses are four. It's 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 money. It's I think, and I, I think we have similar opinions about this. It's because these brands like Margiela and Louis Vuitton have the bankroll, they have the pocketbook, they have the wallet, the checkbook to throw at Nike and, and say- And we, we, and we talk about, we talk oh about the, uh, we talk about the jizz in your pants, Foot Locker exclusive. Bro, the what the hell is shag that? And ship, the shag and ship. This, this is Mason Margiela's take on a deconstructed sneaker that's got glue stains all over it. Right, this is the original shag and ship, bro. <laughs> this is this is this is the original hell no sneaker. This is the original sneaker, bro. Literally, look at that, bro. I'm Who's sweet. gonna put that on feet? I'm and that, that got that goes that goes for quite a lot as well. I think that's a thousand near near near, near enough a thousand pounds. I'm sleep, bro. I'm sleep on that, man. Like I deconstructed. The the soul is the soul is deconstructed. The the this glue is this glue stays this glue stays everywhere, bro. That that's also hot. They've got grab a sneaker, deconstructed it, and put hot glue stains everywhere and given and and they're selling it for in excess of five to six hundred pounds. Bro, right? just, how do you get away with that stuff like that? Just let me know when you take it off the screen, bro. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I stop. I stop sharing it. I stop yeah, sharing it. That is horrible. You but, telling me, bro? But once again, <laughs> bro, we got Air Force One lows. We got Air Force One highs. And we also have the Air Max 90 slash Reebok Classic slash A6 Gel Light slash NMD runner, runner <laughs> from Louis Vuitton. Like, how, how, how are they doing this? How are they doing this? They're Yo, getting away I, with it. I don't know. I want to share. I want to share something else with you. I'll show you. I'll show you. We, we we talk about we talk about fugazis, right? We talk about a lot of, of sneakers that look so like fake that um like that and such. Remember those remember those um high heels? Uh, what was it? Hara was it Hara No, no, Jordan. High heel Jordan. Jordashes, Jordashes, yeah. Right, have a look at these. What in what? Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Balenciaga came and did it before Jordan Brand did it. <laughs> bro, bro. Oh, hell no. Bro, what the hell is that? It's a sneaker oh, heel. Sneaker heel. And then 975 pounds, bro. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, tell and, and, not, not the holy breath. <laughs> and 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 that's not the only that's not the only sneaker that they like let's just be honest. We're talking about Jordan brand. They not ripping they're not only ripping off Jordan brand, right? Like they are actually going in and doing stuff like we we've seen we've seen we've seen we've seen Yeezys. There you go. That's that that pretty much is like a no, not easy, but an ultra boost. That's pretty much like an ultra boost for this. Yeah. You know, it's the city sock. The city sock is similar to this, right? That's that's one version. It's called the speed trainer, recyclable speed trainer, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then wait, wait, recycle, bro. Yes. Recyclable. Yes, it's recycled. It's a recycle straight from a deal. <laughs> okay. And then last, but when we and this is not this is not Adidas they're only using, bro. There's another one I'm just gonna quickly pull up, and you'll be like, "What the hell did you just show?" Um, if I've not taken it, you've not got rid of it already. Uh, yes, there you go. Look at that. Isn't that Asics, bro? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's Asics all day. <laughs> Balenciaga okay. wanted to sell you some ASICs for $825 or 835 pounds. Bro, it's, it's, it's non-stop ridiculousness when we're talking about brands biting from other brands. And these, these high fashion brands can get away with it where the, the independent <laughs> brands and the smaller brands like Steve Madden, Steve <laughs> Steve Madden ain't independent, but Steve Madden is nowhere near as big or, as Balenciaga um, or, or um, Louis, Louis Vuitton or Amiri. Mm. Look at mm. this, bro. Mm. Different and look, they bite. They even biting Cool Kai. <laughs> How does Amiri bite Jordan and Cool Kai at the same time? That that. I don't understand. I don't understand like why they got why they look, bro, bro, bro. Go back up, but go back up. Isn't that the royal colorway? Yes, right there. Yes, one hundred percent. And they got it spinning for you. They got it spinning for you. Ain't you got to touch it? <laughs> they got it spinning for you. <laughs> like, tell me. <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> yeah. Can't touch this. That was a Jordan one. Can't touch this. Kai Amiri. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is a Jordan one dunk. Kai Amiri, high top. And how much they want for this crap, Bruh, I can't. Sold and sold out. Yeah, Look bro. Sold out. Sold out. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Yep, 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 yep. Five hundred pounds here. Five hundred pounds, bro. Five hundred pounds for a Jordan One. You're paying resale for a, a f up, upscale design of a uh, high brand. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand the the, the, the politic politicking behind this, and because it sounds, it looks like they even got the Lakers colorway. Mm -hmm. They got the oh, Lakers yeah. colorway. They got them. They got them for you. They got them for you. You can't say, ain't no, and okay. If we look at some of the design cues, right, the collar and the side panel is different, but that's a Jordan One toe box all day. It's a yeah. dunk. It's a dunk sole. Yep, that is a dunk sole, and that very top collar, that that back heel collar, is from the Jordan One. And yeah, so so they've take they mismatched all like Nike and the Jordan. Uh, Duncan and the Jordan One, and made the Amiri sneaker. Like, how are we allowing big brands to get away with this? Yet, Nike, Nike are going after the smaller consumers that design like Cool Kai, uh, the more and lower. So, why? What makes this acceptable? The, the Amiri or the Balenciaga or the Louis Vuitton, an acceptable rip off of a original design from Nike and Jordan. And when it comes to other other people that want to do the same thing, it's not acceptable. I don't I, I don't understand the hypocrisies behind it. I, I do understand the, the 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 money side of it because it's easier to take on small smaller designers than it is to for Nike and Jordan to take on Balenciaga and Louis Vuitton and all of that stuff because money makes it difficult to stop things happening. 
But if it's if it's about integrity, if it's truly about you stole our design for a big giant huge the uh, nike is the number one sportswear brand in the world and yeah. have been for decades at this point if it's really about the integrity of the design why why not go after everybody that you can go after yeah. or everyone that you should go after to protect your intellectual property as a brand it you, doesn't you, you know what you know, you know what? I, do you? All right, cool. Before we go, before I touch on this subject, do you, do you know what the, all the high brand high brands are saying at the moment? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Can't touch it. Yeah, but but basically, I I also believe didn't wasn't there an issue with the with the the pet uh, the actual. Um, patent for it, like basically Nike had to lock it down. This is what yeah. allowed other brands to do it. So like. Are we? Are they still accepting the fact that Amiri and Balenciaga and Louis Vuitton um, and Mason Margiela are still going to take the designs? Are still going to? Like, I don't think that. I only think that applies to the Jordan One. But but Mason Margiela are ripping off the Jordan Four, right? Because I, so, I believe um, with that one patent, there was a window of opportunity for different brands to go in and patent their design which had to be different enough from that original Jordan 1 design. And also the Air Force 1, uh, there was the Jordan 1 high and low and also the Air Force 1s that they had to renew the patents on in order to um, keep other brands from stealing or using that design exactly. Okay. So, so, so in reality, then Jordan, or oh, Jordan Brand and Knight don't really stand a leg, or don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to locking that pattern down until recently. So, anything post twenty twenty one, they nobody can actually rip off. I mean, it, it, it was seen that way. Um, there, the the controversy yeah. went on for a while. It was it was big news for a little while. I didn't pay as much attention to it as maybe I should have, to be honest with you, because it was only after the news came out that I started seeing so many shoes that look like Air Force Ones and Jordan Ones, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? That was that was tough. That was that was like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it, they they but, went crazy. The designers went crazy. All these big brands started going crazy, and that's when you hear about the Kai's and the Warren Lotuses and the John Geigers that are getting sued for doing pretty much the same thing that these bigger companies are doing, and they aren't getting sued. So it's sad, man. It's sad. If it, if it comes down to integrity, then the integrity side of it should be they should be going after everybody to, to lock in their brands. You give one allowance one way, and you don't give it the other way. You, you're seen you're seen as being hypocrite, yeah. like big 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 fat hypocrites. Because basically, it and it's not a good look because the, I I like in terms of going after the low lower scale marketing people that are actually starting up do the same thing because they probably got inspiration of these higher brands anyway to go in and do what they want to do and now they're getting shut down there's not a good look for night because it's what it's, it almost feels like you're going after the, the people that are starting up the poorer people that want to create a function or a business for themselves to actually kind of now you're giving allowances to bigger brands and you're seeing the biases coming out and it's almost like well you want you don't want other people to eat but you want these big brands to eat off your plate and you don't want other people. So it almost seems that way. And then there's all these rumors about customizers, like a couple last year, especially there was rumors about people grabbing materials like Louis Vuitton materials or part of the Paisley materials and put them on, on their sneakers. And all of a sudden Jordan and Nike are coming at, at them. So you can't do that. You're, you're stealing a design and blah, blah, blah. And it almost feels like, well, why are you doing that? We're just putting a pattern replacement on the sneaker that we brought. But their whole emphasis was you're not allowed to use any branding from another company because it affects their collaboration with the, with that set company. So exactly, and a, now a, now we have um, thanks to Virgil, we have official Jordan One Louis Vuitton sneakers, and with Jordan collaborate Nike and Jordan collaborating with Virgil and Virgil 
working for Louis Vuitton, that makes sense that Jordan wouldn't, Nike and Jordan wouldn't go after Louis Vuitton. That makes a little more sense. But for uh, people that don't have relationships in the same way that Virgil had with a different company that allowed that bridge to form, it doesn't yeah. make sense. So this 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 is where the, the the hypocrisy comes in again. Is some people out there are putting butterflies or butterfly patterns and Air Force Ones are not allowed to do it anymore. They put Paisley Paisley the Paisley print on their or Air Force Ones they're not allowed to do it anymore. They put in um, Louis Vuitton on their sneakers they're not allowed to do it anymore. They put Louis Vuitton patterns on with stencils they're not allowed to do it anymore. Apparently, so why don't they go after the Sue surgeon? Because he's doing it. I don't know, man. It's... We just we just just we just discussed deconstruction, reconstruction of sneakers, which some people are doing. Which with some people are using patterns to put on sneakers, and they've been told that Nike and Jordan brand might be coming after you because you're not allowed to do that. And there was a strict order from Nike and Jordan brand last year that they will be cons- productively stopping the sale of more than X amount of Air Force Ones to people. And they were stopping the sale. They were stopping people from actually putting on the, the, these prints on their sneakers because it's affecting their relationship with high high brands like Louis Vuitton that they want to do collaborations with because it's already been done and they want to keep that exclusive to that brand. But yet you have a very good, amazing, amazing person called a Sioux surgeon that's been doing it for years, that has done it for years, that has got a massive reputation, that has got a school that you can go to to actually do this. Yes, right? yes. So why aren't they going after the Sioux surgeon? And congratulations to the shoe surgeon who's actually had. And was it Louis Vuitton who got deal with recently? Uh, I think I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to look at it. Yeah, uh, but he's got he's got a deal with a big brand now as well, and he's making waves. And it's and it's awesome to see. And I'm I'm always for seeing creative expression and customs because I'm, I'm for, first and foremost I love doing customs and I'm a customizer right but I love to see it because basically it means we see these amazing designs right yeah. and we see and we see these designs from people that well like I got to pay tribute to Court Kai for doing what he's doing because um, he's doing some ex- work of expression work of art for his side but then if Jordan Brand want to shut these people down they should be shutting everybody else down in, in because in reality, you, you're just still biting off your plate. This is, this is not fair, man. Um, and like like we alluded to earlier, um, I think every sneakerhead, for the most part, that um, that contributes <laughs> to the to the to the bank, <laughs> the Jordan Bank, <laughs> the Nike and Jordan <laughs> Bank. <laughs> we, I, I know I personally, I got a love hate relationship with Nike and Jordan, um, especially um, since sneakers and all the, the crazy stuff that go on with the sneakers app so man it's it's just crazy it's unfortunate for some people that they have to go through these things where others are allowed to get away with it and i don't know if it's because of relationships with the brand or because of um money the amount of money that that some have versus um what others don't because big bank take little bank shout out ega soul and uh sneaker <laughs> veterans Big bank take little bank, bank on that situation, man. Yeah, but but um, it's a very controversial subject. Is is but the thing is, Nike is going to do always do what Nike was best for Nike and Jordan. And having having the Sioux surgeon, oh, it must have been was it Gucci and I think it's Gucci and um, shoot the Sioux surgeon. Pardon. I'm just looking this up. Are you, I think it was Gucci. Was it Gucci? No, I, I, I have to look at it another time. I'm, I'm trying to find out who, who, who is actually. It was, it was in 2021. I can't really remember. Put my name on, on the high brand company that he went to. But in, in reality, it's, it's life is unfair. Unfortunately, life is very unfair um, in some circumstances. So I can understand why Nike and Jordan Brown want to keep open relationships with higher brands because it means even if even if they buy it, even if they're um, a, a bite off the original silhouettes, it still means that Nike and Jordan Brand can come to the table and do a Dior 
cost, a, a collaboration, can do a Louis Vuitton collaboration, can can do a, a, a Amiri collaboration one day. Could do, because the, these brands people pick up and there's there's hype behind them. And if Cool Kai keeps going the way he's going, and if he does make something of himself and he does become a high brand, then maybe Jordan Brand would want to put that lightning on that that to tick on the side of their panel at the same time. But it's it's riding that wave. It's riding that um, that struggle. The, the initially that the brands want to close you down, like, and that that's that's the struggle. No, I'm not Warren Lotus. But for what Warren Lotus did, it was it was good. But he gave a chance for everybody to cop a sneaker that was absolutely sold out. If you didn't get the pigeons, you could get the Warren Lotus pigeons. So if you didn't get the Fre- uh, Freddy Kruegers, you could get the Freddy Krueger. Like you know, he, he gave he gave people options. He gave people options. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, he's getting locked down by Nike, um, and rightly so. Like if, from their perspective, if if they if they see that he's biting and they want to close him down, it's it's, it's their prerogative to do so. Um, but it's it's yeah. unfortunate. It's unfortunate because we would like to see it to see it be uh, very consistent, as you say. Yeah, uh, uh, and I mean, uh, shout out to Cool Guy and. Um, his whole team and what they're doing over there um, at this point in time. Um, not everybody is aware of the hype and the, um, the movement behind the cool guys, but they are now um, more accepted by the sneaker community. So I'm yeah. happy for him with that. Uh, he's got collaborations going on with, with certain artists. Um, hopefully, like you said, in the future, he'll, he'll, He'll be able to duck all that Nike smoke like these high fashion brands do. And we will have to talk about this type of controversy moving forward for him yep. and guys like John Geiger and uh, Warren Lotus. And um, I, I just hope I hope they all find their own way to do what they want to do without having to bump heads with Nike. And, and you know, what the interesting thing is all of this comes out from the love of the silhouette all of it yeah. comes out from from the love of being a sneakerhead or the love of like you know <laughs> wanted to do to excel and be great and do something and take something that you love and trying to make it your own as well because you love it so much and that's and it's all driven from love uh, some, some of it obviously driven from profit as well but if you didn't love the brand you wouldn't do what you do no nah. so i can't i can't see any of these guys taking that design if they did because Cool Kai, if you follow Cool Kai, he got a lot of fake pages. But it, when you find the real Cool Kai page on Instagram, um, he still buys and wears Nike and other brands. So it's you could tell, you could see the love for the sneaker culture in his Instagram post. So it's just yeah. unfortunate, man, at the end of the day, that the big brands, some of the big brands can get away with it, but the indies can't. It's sad. Yeah. yeah, life is unfair, bro. Life is unfair, but um, yeah. I'm, I, 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 I hope all of them the best. To be honest, um, they, 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 they are making. If they're making waves, it's an inspiration for us to actually make the same waves in the future or open up doors for other people. And um, it's, it's always, um, it's my, my old thought, thought process of it. It's always good to be um, open, not exclusive. It's also always always great to open doors for others and not kind of shut doors on people. So I'm ho- I hope their movement carries on. I hope and I hope they kind of um, keep doing great things. Uh, I keep to be honest, I keep seeing great things come from Cool Kai. I keep seeing retro show Cool Kai stuff. So and that that brand is is being super hyped and super limited now as well. So it's 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 great. He's got a movement and it's got a name. Um, yeah. I just hope that Knight doesn't just slam the door and to seal it shut. So yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens in the future. But um, okay. I think I think that's it, man. Yeah, um, we come to the end of the show today. We talked about um, the shag and shit method that Foot Locker are doing. <laughs> today, <laughs> today we talked about what we were wearing last week, and today we talked about grails, and we also talked about um, uh, definitions and some of the some of the 
hypocrisy that we live in day day day, day in day out with with brands high end brands and and low end de- developers and and um, artists. So it's interesting. It was an interesting discussion, bro. It was an interesting discussion. Yeah. So on that note, I'll let you close it out, bro. Floor is yours. So as my guy TJ would say, <laughs> hope y'all have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. And hopefully, y'all can cop all the cool guys y'all want because y'all deserve <laughs> to get all the cool guys you want. So for TJ, Q Rocker, Shoot Peace Dog Podcast, way. peace. Peace. <laughs>